Okay, stream started. Let's go with Project Z logo. Uh, let's get chat. Double O seven. First. No, that looks like I don't know what that is. That's from the previous one. Is it? See how it says welcome to channel? Oh, yeah, That's yeah, where yeah. they begin. So oh. there you go. The Bitman. The Bitman first. I don't know what blood type is. What the hell is that? What are y'all doing? Or maybe maybe Abdul was in chat. I don't know. Uh, no. <coughs> I don't know. While they were talking about maybe. something offline. Yeah. Okay, game logo here. Let's see. Properties. Uh, first, I need to find a Project Z logo. That's nice. One. No. What? No. No. It It is Project Z, but it's not Project yeah. Z. That's Project, That's Project Z. Z right? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. PNG, baby. Nice. <coughs> I mean, it. granted, this is a defunct game, but yeah, I think they're gonna they're gonna come back to it. No, I think so. No, I think so. Angry Maybe, not. Maybe not. You were not first, Angry Mexican. Coffee ads. Yeah, I need a I need a a coffee sponsor. <laughs> they can have this part right here. Like a like a basketball or soccer soccer team. Yeah, black shirt guys, that's pretty cool. I just noticed that. Um, your movie, y'all make a movie? Yeah. We made. Uh, it's called Left Alone in the Dark. It's a two-hour movie that just came out. Uh, thank you for watching. Who uh, who did that? Oh, thank Brain. you, Brain Eclipse. Appreciate it, dude. Brain Eclipse. Glad you enjoyed it. That's that's my dude right there, Brain Eclipse. Mm-hmm. All right. Now I'm kind of seeing what scenario they used. Project Z is played using one of the scenarios provided in the Survivor's Guide for Dummies. <laughs> Survivor's Guide for Dummies. High Street Shootout, Town Square, Dancing in the Streets, Parking Lot, Breakthrough, Last Stand, The Junction, Nowhere to Run. Well, none of those were the scenario those guys were running. That's fine. Well, I just want to know... Okay, so... Winning the game tells you what you're trying to achieve. Most games are driven by victory points. However, it's possible some scenarios prevent different. All right. Scenarios played over six turns of play with the most at the end. Oh, that's what they were doing. They're like, for every guy you get in the building, you get a victory point. Yeah. So, and then they probably just chose one of these generic ones that everybody's equidistant. Yeah. Uh, dancing in the streets maybe is what it is. Two to three character cards aside, winning the game. And they basically just did it super free form. They were like, you know, so as long as we're equidistant to to the thing, then yeah. then it was fine. Yeah. Um, Just make a 36 inch bubble. And we just set up outside of that. So, like, what? You, you there, bad drink, you hear me here, yeah, something, something like that? Something, something to that effect, yeah. Mm. 
I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. Let me keep going through the rule book. Yeah. We got all day. Yeah, welcome to AJ's Table Time. We are going to be playing a variety of games in our collection today. I'm trying to get a lot of these played so that we can start running a, a campaign game, ones that we, you know, play over and over, um, which should be a lot of fun. So yeah. I'm going to whip out the official miniatures to these. Biker gang. That's awesome. <clears throat> and, and they have actual bikes. Yep. Like, all right, we got a biker game over there, but they ain't got no bikes. And some tokens and some cards. Yeah, I take this. Can one. you pop all the tokens? Yep, yep. All right, that's it for this game. Uh, biker gangs, uh, survivors, creating a team. This is Project Z by Warlord Games. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's has the the guys across the pond with. Z. Survivor's Guide for Dummies is the perfect tool to help you survive a survivor apocalypse. The guide shows you how to put together a group of survivors or a team and explains all the abilities and traits available to them. Takes you through a scenario, a series of scenarios where your team will have to survive to become or become a zombie's next meal. Before choosing their teams, players need to agree on the number of character cards they are getting, going to play with. Between two and four cards is a good number which keeps the game flowing and manageable. Uh, let's do four. Four. Okay, four. Uh, yeah, four each. Four. Um, right, Patrick? Several. Yep, four. <laughs> Are you awake? <laughs> Patrick is sleepy <laughs> because he had a hard day at work. Yeah, I've been up since. Several. Yeah. You, God knows when. Yeah. Midnight, something mm -hmm. like that. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Several scenarios will suggest a particular number of cards, but you can change this. Each character card has three key pieces. Okay. Uh, number of tokens, uh, miniature profiles. Once the character cards have been selected, choose uh, the relative number of miniatures for their collection. Okay, so we'll start with the character cards then, uh, because at least in that one scenario, they had crazy stuff like, yeah. oh, this is a bunch of zombies. The very bad babe. The very bad babe. I might drink some G Fuel later, actually. G Fuel, gang bikers, gang members, angry gang prospects, army. biker boss. I think you have some angry army ammunition up, up here somewhere. Yeah, gang bikers, last gang, gang prospects, the contester. Prove yourself and join us. Want a piece of me getting dirty? Gunslingers, turbo, saddlebag, shootout. Oh, so these are all the gang biker deck. That's like all no. the gangs. I don't know. This is a bunch of zombies off on its own. I don't know why? Um, what about this baggie? This is last family member, the cop, the kid, more survivors, the preacher, some survivors times go. three times four, some survivors, volunteers, the survivalists, some survivors. Yeah, I think those are the expansions. And then that big deck is the. Does that big deck have survivors in there too? Or. The unopened one? Yeah. Hmm. All right, so I think this is probably what comes in. Ja, Sam, you fart. Yeah. Uh, ja. coffee. Coffee is, is yeah. my life juice. I do yerba mate. Yerba mate has more caffeine in it. I have no idea what that is. What the hell is that? It's a tea from the rainforest. Oh my gosh. But it's good it has, caffeine? Yeah, it has. You have to go to the rainforest to get it? You know, you know, like the clean yerba mate drinks? Like they're all, they're everywhere. No. The clean. Yeah. No, we are no. not no. familiar uh, with it. But yeah, it has. No idea. I think it has like 260 milligrams per 16 ounces. Which is. Oh, well, you know, there. I think these cards were all. were all in there. Oh, really? Yeah, because these like continue gang prospects and some survivors. Could. could yeah, so be only, updated? I only opened one or two. What the fuck kind of cards are these? 
These are some weird ass symbols. Oh, that might is that is uh, it to replace like a, the dice? a damage a damage uh, table type thing? A damage card, maybe. I don't. I don't know the South American what it cups. I've never heard of. I don't, I don't know the tradition of drinking yerba mate. I know it's like a. Uh, they used to chew it and then they brewed it and then it's kind of like cocaine. They like used to chew the leaves. They're like, oh shit, this gives you energy, and they brewed it. Get your hype. Get you, yeah. Thanks, bro. So my ring. One of these. <laughs> It's uh the uh, Jamaican colors red, green. Oh. Did y'all see the Bob Marley movie? Anybody see it? The which one? Bob Marley. Uh. -uh. Bob. Bob Marley. He got cancer in his toe. Then didn't want to see a doctor. He died. That's how Bob Marley died. Yeah, I did a. I did my whole like. End of, end of year thesis of like high school or whatever on his life. He that, was a piece of shit, man. That fucking like he was a really good study. musician, but he like he cheated. He was trash. What a fucking moron. He like cheated like a bunch on uh, Rita or whatever. I'm sure they kept a lot of that stuff out of the movie. Yeah, probably. <laughs> to make and it. then yeah, he he did a lot of good for the community too. Though. Sure, he did a lot of good things. Sure. Um, but yeah, and then he fucking hurt his toe. Playing soccer and then <laughs> it like got infected and then it like got like cancerous. Oh wow! And like he is like I'm just gonna keep on playing uh, my concerts and like still wanted to travel for his concerts and not slow down and get it treated and he's like I'll just you know use herbal medicine. So Turns out weed does not cure cancer, y'all. So the cancer then uh, I don't know spread from yeah, his toe spread, to the rest yeah, of his, his rest body, of body and, 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 and fucking died. Yeah, unnecessarily. So that's a thing. Mate teacup. I'll have to look at mate teacups. That sounds like you're ever mate though. Uh, skin cancer in his toe. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. If you if you think you got sickness, you gotta you gotta trust modern medicine. It's like fucking Steve Jobs, man. You gotta trust the science. All right, we gotta choose uh, four miniatures for each of us. Um. I'll choose from these. You guys gonna have these. I think for our first game, probably don't don't grab the bikes uh, yet. But oh man, I want the boink. Well, you ain't getting no goddamn. Bar. <laughs> you want you want OP all the time. Okay? <laughs> That's your thing. Right. I'm here for the experience. Okay, so y'all grab four peoples, and then I guess I can give you the cards. It feels like I'm missing cards. That's what it feels yeah. like. Because um, I don't have, like, the vengeful mom like the, the one guy had. Project Z. Maybe I can find it. Ward Game Geek. Some files on it since it's defunct. I know they had some expansions. They had special operations. Oh, yeah. I thought it was, like, a surfer. I like the businessman. I like the, the baseball. Here, court cards. Campaign. Zombie tokens. So it comes with 23 zombies, 10 male survivors, 6 biker gangers, including 2 motorbikes. Uh, let's see, Project Z Core Errata. Core cards from the game have misprints. Here's some official errata mm -hmm. and amendments to be printed and replace those in the box. Great. Um, Eat, fight, survive. Four. Fan made campaign supplement. Four. 
Zombie tokens running out of miniature. Finding myself running out of zombies and scenarios. I put together these and printed them. Oh, okay. Well, the most important part before we play a zombie game is to get the fucking zombies. Yeah. So I was going to say, where's some the painted zombies? zombies. Uh, I'll say, I think I got some painted. I'll get them. Kind of like this guy with the flip flops and uh, shorts and t shirts with the AK. Gallant Tempest, what's up, dude? I have had a shitty day at work. Been up for way too long, but I'm happy to be here playing, killing zombies. zombies. We're going to kill them. Um, take my rage out on the undead. Uh, that's kind of cool. That guy is a Molotov cocktail. I'm going to make this guy. He's like a disgruntled uh, garbage like worker. That or inmate. Yeah. Inmate. Yep. Escape convict. Yeah, I don't know which ones to pick. They're also cool. Crazy old man. Business. Businessman. Down postal. Escape convict and... And they, uh, I got like all the park plumber. rangers. <laughs> I got all the disgruntled workers. Because that is me today. Nah, yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Birds flying high. <laughs> Joe's actually wearing that shirt today. You guys want to play a zombie game? Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know that was part of their merch collection. Me, Jeff Bezor, with a uh, weird plastic girlfriend, trying to uh, dress all. The way he dresses is fucking crazy. He got all jacked, too. It's like fucking... Yeah, cyborgs... Cyborgs have lives. Or lives. <laughs> rights. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Um... Yeah, we're actually about to have a Amazon executive come visit our store as a friendly non-pressure walk, which means that everybody is like a month out freaking out. Freaking out about what? The fucking Amazon guy coming by because it's uh, something's happening. I don't even know. There's like some sort of they're trying to keep the culture of Whole Foods alive. What is the culture? Bro, I don't even. I don't frozen even. Frozen foods? <laughs> <laughs> don't even get me started. You got a fro frozen food culture? I don't want to say anything. They're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> They're always watching. <laughs> yeah. They, they heard Bezos, and I said the trigger words for him to start tracking me down. Yeah, you're, you're my, screwed. Yeah, my chip in my neck is going off. Make sure we aren't thinking for themselves. Man, you it's funny you say that because that's what I was just saying today because we they implemented this new order system whereas like oh. if, if we disagree with what the program says, the aka like the robot, then we have to give it a reason why we want to change it. And then it like logs in like like we that we disagreed with the uh, order system or whatever the the algorithm. Does it just like stay on top like that? It just yeah. Doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, it's it's, uh, oh, it's it's nice, but it's 3D printed, yeah. so it's not going to be the most secure <laughs> or stable thing.
We're all on a list somewhere. Why sudden? Yep, very true. Um, Joe, did you know about Tony Pollard and all that going yeah, on they with got, the Cowboys? He got released, right? Where'd he go? Did he get picked up yet? Yeah, he went somewhere. I forget. Let me see where he went. And then they're already talking about restructuring Dak's um, Dude, contract. Dude, I can't believe how they're like, we are all in, and then like, <laughs> yeah, they start giving, them, giving people away. <laughs> yeah. Here you can have this guy. Here you can have Everybody go. Tyrone Smith is gone. Like, mm. dude, like he's older though. So, but uh, yeah, he just went to the Jets. Tyrone Smith. Where did Tony go? He went to one of our rivals, I think. Did he go to did the? He? Did he go? Did he go to Washington? No. Somebody. Somebody else went to Washington. Oh no, he went Running to Tennessee. Back. Can we just see? I was thinking, no, no, yeah. and then uh, who? Barkley went to uh, fucking Philly. Yeah, Philly. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. So, oh yeah, Gallup, yeah. Gallup and uh, we did Vander issues going. We did lock in Lewis today, which was good. That's like one of our uh, cornerbacks, and then. Bro, look, that's like our signed, and then the departures just go <laughs> off the list. <laughs> he, like, can't even fit on one tweet. This is, like, all the <laughs> – like, we let our center go, and, like, it's, like, to the commanders, commanders, commanders. We let our center go to the commanders, and then uh, two defensive ends. Oh, that's Dante cool. Fowler went to the commanders, too? Yeah. E. Yeah, dude. E. Well, the commanders are hurt on their defensive line. Anyway. Yeah. Well, they, uh, I think they still have pain in – Pain and sweat, maybe, or did sweat go to Chicago? I don't know where he went. It's so funny though. Like when you look up Tony Pollard, it's just this like white dude that's like not to like clearly not Tony Pollard. Yeah, <laughs> but that's not that can't be his. It's not. Yeah, I checked because it, it always pops up with this like random, random dude. Uh, Vanderesh just was released. I didn't even know. Hmm. Same thing with Gallup. Cap casualties because they're paying too much to deck. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. He should take a team-friendly deal, man. That's that's what needs to be done. Team-friendly deal. Boo, boo Philly, I agree. Va yeah, Gallup and Van Der Esch are gone. That's uh, a little surprising. I know you're pretty deep in wide receiver, but, man, I I just don't know. We're We're all in, but. It doesn't feel like we're all in. Yeah, I was definitely expecting on Monday to pick up some sort of running back. And then when I heard Tony Pollard left, I was like, okay, we have to get a running back now. And then our first fucking signing was like a long snapper or some shit, like the second day. Yeah, need running back. Definitely. It's, uh, what is, is Dalvin Cook? I think still available, maybe. Because they're like, oh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna draft. That's where, that's what they said they're gonna target people in the draft. Yeah. No, where did where did uh Hunter Renfro go? I know. Did you get your four? Yeah, I got my four. Oh. So maybe still Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook's still an option. <laughs> Agent three six. That's pretty pretty cool, man. Pretty pretty cool. Sure, Sark. Yeah. Nice. Good to hear. Hey, Y'all lost uh, J your boy Jacobs. Yeah, but he he always got hurt, man. He was, he was fucking I, glass cannon. Yeah, very much so. But I, I was kind of upset about that. But it's all right. Yeah, I know how you feel, bro. 
It's all right. Now we don't have a quarterback and, or a running back. Man, I need to cut out two hours to watch this movie. Everybody's raving about it. Which one? The new Angry Joe. Oh, that one. The new Angry Joe drop. So on YouTube. Dude, I am loving, 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 loving. Show them. <laughs> we have, I, you know what? Because they didn't. Yeah, but they when they when you when you uh, look at the episode listings, they didn't they didn't release but the first four when you when they first come out. So they released the first two, and then the, they said it was three and four, and then the next week you can see where they added two more. So you, they don't even have the full listing of episodes on there. It's just oh. they're giving it to you like a little bit at a time. That's why it's kind of deceiving. I was like, oh. What? It's only four episodes. Four, yeah. What the heck? You know. So it's actually ten? Yeah. Which is great are, because... Are all, all ten are not out, though. No. 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 You can't even see what the titles of them are oh, on, okay. on the um, Hulu. Are you out, are you out of your mind? Hey, SMZ Lost. What's up, man? Hey, SMZ Lost. Thanks for the gifted sub to Patrick. Chinese characters. Oops. Are Chinese characters? Yeah. Something. Put those guys in there. What does that name mean? <laughs> What's your name? Black Zinc wants Are we to know. Yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Uh, yes, Are we there we'll yet? You know when we're there. What's your name, kid? Left alone in the dark. Any more content for that? Didn't they just make a whole movie? Isn't that what two-hour movie's about? They want more. They're eating it up. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to have some more content on that. Some behind the scenes stuff that we'll put up later next this coming week. Nice. I shouldn't have started this stream cuz I you're going to get this I get distracted. Yeah. All right, character test. There are two ter two types of character cards, common and archetypes. Common deal with run-of-the-mill characters, the unnamed and faceless who will most likely end up as zombie lunch. <laughs> Occasionally, though, amongst these regular people, there may be an individual that turns out to be much more than they appear. These are true survivors and are very valuable individuals, represented by their very own archetype character card. An archetype character card works exactly the same way as a common character card, and any number of them can be selected with no special restrictions. Well, that's weird, because it's like, if you're going to give them special abilities, yeah. why don't they cause more in points? Yeah. Uh, okay. An archetype character works exactly the same way as a common. Any number of them can be selected with no special restrictions. Archetype character cards are marked with a little... That symbol does not make sense. In their top right corner. Okay. So, let me see what I got. Cop, the kid. The Preacher. So, there, I do have these cards. Okay, the Survivalist. All right, I'll get all the archetypes together. And uh, we can we can choose. Uh, biker Boss. Does he actually ride a thing? Biker Boss and Companion. I guess that's a girl on his bike. The Contester. <laughs> wield. No, because this is wield. Hey, hey. Wield. My stuff. Minigun. This guy's got a minigun. The biker bot. Nice. Okay, no wield ones. 
That is Black <laughs> Zinc. Joe, I love you forever. Thank you so much, Black <laughs> Zinc, for the very generous $10 donation. Black Zinc, what's your name? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm wearing the appropriate shirt. Do you want to play a zombie game? Because we're going to play a zombie. As you can see here, I got the Predator game. crew on the roof waiting for our arrival. Okay, here oh, are yeah, the predator. archetypes. Yeah. Very bad Get babe. To the chopper. Last family member. The cop, the kid, the preacher, and the survivalist. Well, give me the cop because I'm running a bunch of cops. You have the cop. What do you want, uh, Patrick? The very bad babe, last family member, the kid, the preacher, the survivalist. Uh, what were the, do them again? Say them again. The kid. The uh, very bad babe, last family member, the kid, the preacher, and the survivalist. I guess I'll do the survivalist. All right, that's oh. he's got a lot of stuff at the bottom of his uh -oh. card. Okay. I need the least amount of reading. And yeah. then we'll do <laughs> the very bad baby kid or the preacher. Uh, I guess I'll do the very bad babe. Yeah, that was my other choice. But I don't have any girls on my team. So. Now. I don't have any whammy. Survivals. Some survivors. Why do these have times three? Volunteers is a times two. More survivors. What are the difference? One has grit. One doesn't have grit. Let's say, well, let's just say times three. Yeah. And technically, we do have times three. Yeah. So you've got your one archetype. We're going to have one archetype <coughs> and one. Oh, I'm sorry. One archetype and one and three Commons. So we need a leader uh, yes. of yeah. sorts. Yes. Just like what you got. You got your leader and then some survivors. I'll have to choose my leader. I think I want the convict to be a leader. Okay, now that we've got that sorted. He survived the clink. So he can survive the zombies. There you go. Let's all kind of uh, try to go equal distant. This is going to be tough. Uh, so got, I'll start here. Uh, why Some doesn't grit, Patrick grit chips. Here. start here? Some grit chips. I don't know what they're for, but it looks like we each have three. Grit. You got that grit. You got that dog in you. And then. I like your haircut, by uh, the way. Jay. You got a fresh cut. Me? Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. There you go. I need to go to the doctor. Barber. It's been a the doctor. Weeks. You probably need to go to the doctor, too. Doctor and the barber. I need a, I need a shave and a shot. Shave and a shot. Jay, start over there behind that building. I've been thinking about it. It's getting hotter outside. Put those over there. About time for... Where are you going? Over there somewhere. Uh, back behind there. We don't really know right now. Um, I'm just trying to do some equidistance, though it doesn't really matter. Let's just say that Jay has it the hardest. Uh, I have it the e easiest. And, and we're talking minuscule, minuscule advantages. Uh, advantages. It's the homie Black Zinc again. Why well, you give everybody grit? Yeah, uh, I don't okay. know why. Oh, cool. No, I think I think that's probably right. It's on the card, so and then. So, I don't know. See, All right, bef before this disappears, says game. Joe, You're did dead. you play the You're new dead. Dying Light oh. Two anniversary update? The, no, I the, didn't. The game's so great. You did get the Battle Sisters last night, though. I saw that. I was in bed trying to sleep. Oh yeah, the Sisters that of shit Battle was Skin was for Call of Duty. This shit was oh, weak. Nice. It wasn't. Let me get it was pretty weak. I like the. I don't know some more obstacles for me. Hit this red car. It was, it was like the character Just was trying like to make it harder for me to get there. Well, we're gonna have to de determine spawn points too. So. Right. So the spawn points are probably what'll what'll do what'll do it. Um, okay. So the tokens are over there. 
Oh, Celtic was, Canadian didn't forget about you. 31 months. That's a question. That's awesome. Appreciate you. Almost Luke. three years. When do I get a promotion, sir? Zombie entry points. They have Z on the Whoa. back. I don't and know. Zombies but on the token. We give you a salute, sir. Thank you for all. Almost three years. We'll see you in four months, five months. It's okay, Pedro. It's fine. We'll find the content. Don't SMZ, 100 biddies. Joe, glad to see you having fun. Y'all need. All y'all need is pizza and rum. Yep. Are you gonna watch SMZ? Because if you are, you're gonna be on my team. <laughs> you might be. You might get eaten by a zombie though. So you're gonna be one of my guys. Hang around. Okay. And this it looks like. And you know what? We'll just fuck it. We'll just put zombie point here in the back of the dump truck. Yep. A zombie point here. Uh, Next to that, Sparta. and then zombie it's from the point. Yeah. This this building, they're coming yeah. from that building, yeah. and uh, make it even harder. Put Maybe a zombie point here and a zombie point here, yeah. so that they come out of those two buildings out, as well. Come out of the dumpster right there. Mm -hmm. So zombie there, zombie there. Like so, maybe because this game is you know out of print, we just kind of make our own scenario yeah. as we're learning it, right? Right, right? And then probably let's get zombies behind us. Like we're probably gonna die because yeah. I don't think you have that many spawn points hmm. uh, in a regular game. Yeah. In a regular game, I think how many did they have? I think they did. They three. only had three. Okay, so I think maybe we could just do three. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, three. let's just do three, but we could keep these here yeah, for yeah. right now, okay? Um, yeah, breakthrough. This is just running through the rules. So our objective <laughs> is just going to be getting to Figuring the helicopter. Yeah. So you got to get to the fucking helicopter. Get to the chopper. Okay, so you'll take one of these game sequence ones. Yeah. Oh, I like this. It's I like all the, all the Thank data, you, data Warlord on it. Games, yeah. for giving a reference card. Not Everybody enough. loves a quick reference. Game card. sequence Everyone. and then some weapon summaries and melee weapons on the back for... Ranged in, in melee weapons. Right, because each of your guys are going to have uh, a gun. Um, and how do you choose that? Well, it says right here. You can arm any miniature with two one-handed weapons or one two-handed weapon. Got it? Yeah. Two one-handed weapons. Or one two-handed two weapon. weapon. If a miniature, as modeled, is holding a two-handed melee weapon and another weapon, count the melee weapon as one-handed instead. But that's just official miniatures. Backpacks, pouches, any other equipment, they're simply decorative. So one-handed weapons or pistols, Uzis, uh, knives, clubs, bats, crowbars, even a frying pan are all weapons. Uh, a model may carry any combination of two one-handed all right, well, I'm going to have an Uzi yeah. and a... Oh, are the weapons listed there? Yeah. Because I don't see yeah. them. I don't have my weapon. I don't have them over here. On the back. That's kind of crappy. Oh. That they're not in the main oh. rules, but they're on... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Thank you. Dr. Oh. Evil must be here. Dr. Evil, thank you. Dr. Evil I love has it. dropped I love by. It. He's that's the only one that can do that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. My, that's my... That's <laughs> my... All right, pick your weapons All right. and memorize uh, them. Oh, I found mine. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I'll just go with what, what my guys have. So I have three shotguns and a pistol. I got two women on my side. Um, I don't know if there's any chicks in chat. I'll just put the I'll put the chicks in that was in the last game. So it'll be Psycho Girl and uh, Miss Scarlet, and then SMZ Lost will be this guy. And then I'm this guy. So if I can remember it like that. And if y'all want to uh, name your miniatures too. So that it's just always more fun. Yeah. Um, and then kind of remember what they got. So hand pistols. 
the fuck is a Racco pistol? Hey, don't Racco don't pistol. do stupid shit like that. Racco Uzi. So you got a bunch I, of them. I think. No, I don't. I think. What? What is that supposed to mean? I'm gonna yell at Warlord when I get there. Right. In a Depicon. Oh, what right. is Racco yeah. pistol supposed to mean? It means you have a bunch of them, right? That's dumb. Racco Uzi, but there's no normal Uzi, but there's a Racco Uzi. So basically, it's you have two two. Pistols or two Uzis. I think you're right. Yeah. My catchphrase, man. I just know go Dr. double, bro. Double pistols, double Uzis. Ah. Fucking sweet. I'm gonna go double Uzis because that sounds fucking yeah. sweet. I'm gonna go double pistols on my guy, my main guy. Okay. And then everybody else has got the shotgun because they have shotguns. Oh, shotgun. I'm gonna give SMZ Laos a shotgun. Uh. I well. Okay. My catchphrase, my catchphrase is I can't believe you came on my mom. That was from like Gross. <laughs> from the grandma's from grandma's boy. You no, ever watch no, grandma's boy? No, no. Man, grandma's boy, come on. No, no nothing. No. Either either grandma's Man, boy it, or so uh, or uh, from uh, no. what was that fr Friday? He's like, you ain't got no job. You ain't got All right, we gotta focus. Do. Gotta focus in okay. on the game so that we can get a bunch of these done. <laughs> Hey, he's doing what he's supposed <laughs> to be doing, which is chat interaction. Yeah, but I'm chat when, interaction. It, when it when it stops the whole stream and Sorry. that's involving me. <laughs> well, I did say okay, I'm chat, we are going to <laughs> And you know what? I am on chat interaction. So but I tell you what, now we're gonna switch on over into learning and playing this game. Okay. That way we can because uh, we're trying to get a bunch of games played today, maybe about two hours for each game. Um, and we might play one one a few turns and then quit and yeah. then move on to the next one. We'll see. So let's start with this one. And it's those boys had uh, some zombies set up already. They right. had like two zombies. I'm gonna get some zombies going. They here. had like two zombies per spawn point. Uh, I'll go. Okay, two zombies per zomb spawn, per spawn point. point yeah. Got it. Oh, look at this fatty. Yeah. Look at this fat chick. Grandma's boys the best. We love you. Three Alex. in the middle since. No, because yes. that'll make it harder no, no. for Patrick. No, I mean, I'm in the middle, too. I got to go in the middle. All right. Put two and right two. here. Captain Mid we'll use this one. Where's the other one? <laughs> There's another one right here. <laughs> that, see, yeah, that's I think where that's my it's line supposed right there. to be. Or that I want it here. Okay. The Friday line. And um, Or Grandma's Boy where he talks about the car bed. That's it. awesome. This will be awesome. Or is, uh, yeah. Never throw a bong, dude. It's crazy. He's talking. Yeah, <laughs> I forget that guy's name. It's all like Adam Sandler's little clique, though. Those type of guys. All right, so these zombies are just kind of roaming around. All right, cool. I got the zombies deployed. Just kind of throwing things out there to learn. But, Dr. Eve, I don't have a solid answer for you yet. Sorry, I'm just Ooh, randomly. Here's, here's another good one, Dr. Evil. No, y'all keep talking. I'm good. Um, We're going to figure this out as we go along. <laughs> From we'll, Snatch. We'll learn. You like ducks? What? Ducks. Okay. You like ducks? Ducks. <laughs> ducks. Ducks. Okay. Survival cards. Each team starts the game with five survival cards chosen from those available. Project Z contains ten generic survival cards. For now, simply shuffle and distribute the ten cards evenly amongst the players. However, more survival cards are included in all Project Z expansions, and players are invited to collect them in order to build their very own survival deck. With them, each player can choose their, their five survival cards and choose their own collection instead of simply receiving them randomly. Each survival card describes how it can be used during the game. Survival cards are considered for all general rules. Okay, let me see how many cards I have, and then we can go from there. You can do it. You can so do there's it no, night there's long. no, um, like equipment cards. We nope. just go off the whatever it just the seems sheet like right here. Yeah. The survival cards is what there are, and I have more than ten, I think. So some expansion was included. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Thanks 16, for the sub. Have a good day, 18, fellas. 19, 20, you, sir, I hope you have cards. a good day. I hope you have a great day, Lance. I hope you have a great day, Lance. Lance better than just a, just a good, good, better than average day. Yeah. How about that? Slightly above. Well, we'll set our Captain expectations McDober. low. McDober. And if they, 
surpass them. It's great. Yeah. Set the bar low. So just shuffling these, and we'll hand out five. I think five is if we're like yeah. playing all the campaign what, like games. What like proper fuck? But whatever. <laughs> That's why you have to get a monkey. All right, here we go. One, two, Doctor three, Zulu. four, five. I'm getting two cards with these things. Let's three, just say. Four, get there. What, are, what? 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 Are I don't these know. For? for some reason. Oh, I don't know. These are. I think this is maybe for campaign play or multiple mission play. But because it's a mechanic of the game and we're trying to understand all the mechanics, this was in the Survivor for Dummies book. Yeah. Uh, which is a normal book because it says creating your team. We do. We create our team, <gasps> and then it says survivor card. Each team starts the game with five survival cards. Uh, chosen from a deck from all the expansions and stuff but since it's our first game we're just gonna get them randomly distributed so with them each uh, and then survivors are more often than not civilians at once shared neighborhoods schools and town hall meetings but are now faced with the need to slaughter zombies in order to live another day although they have managed to stay alive for this long survivors need to face every day with the fear that that may be their last hmm. um, survivors uh, are just are there just because it was their turn to go out and collect supplies and make it back alive. With this in mind, survivors tend to equip themselves quite well with whatever they can gather. And if things get nasty, holy shit! Oh. I was wondering what I heard. A <laughs> hundred months wow. now. Thank you for he all dies. those years. You're thanking me. No, I need to be thanking you. Yeah. So a hundred months will get you that special notification there. That's a animation i did like 10 years ago <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> hey so man, some of these Edal survivor Bert. cards are more Edal one one two mo motorbike gang only so okay do you have they're specific mm, to you yeah whatever. let's see if there's uh biker boss only must right yeah. okay so that was prob so there's probably only 10 then because <coughs> i got the bike do you have any biker only oh gang is only two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Darn. Um, do I have enough to replace with eight? Biker boss only, biker boss. This, this, and this. How many cards do you need, Jay? I need three. How many cards do you need, Patrick? Two. For five, right? Yeah, yeah for five. All right, give, uh, give me all your cards. Oh, that's some good ones, too. So I think I only have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so we need 10 divided by 3. So we'll go 9. 9 each, yeah. So we'll just go 3 cards each instead of 5 cards. Sounds good. Yeah, John, the, uh, Snatch is one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. Snatch? Yeah. Yeah. Coming after you. <laughs> wow. He did it. He did it for just for Patrick. Okay, Doc, Dr. Evil is the look man. At, look at how Patrick went up. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm off like no sleep, and that was <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you came on my mom. I've never heard this. So this guy had sex with his mom? <laughs> He was jacking off to an action figure, and then the mom walks in and walks in on him. And he turns around. And he's, I'm coming! I can't stop coming! Oh my <laughs> god! <gosh. laughs> an action figure? Who gets off to an action it was figure? Like a <laughs> Shit, I don't Thank you, Doctor Evil, man, dude. I needed to laugh today, man. I had a bad day. I appreciate that, Doctor Evil. I'm kind of, I'm kind of everywhere today. A little, uh, little sleep deprived. A little overworked. Mm. But. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, needed a good, good battle. Okay, lap. we're all survivors. When a card or rule or any other reference is made to a survivor, oh. that applies to any survivor card, common or archetype, okay? Uh huh. So, common or archetypes are survivors. Okay. Okay, so this is mostly an advantage. Uh, 
but can create interesting twists, and players must resolve applying their best judgment. Uh, all, uh, survivor teams have the following special rules. Numbers. During the upkeep phase, if a survivor team is at least eight miniatures, the team receives one extra combat card for the next turn. Desperation. When a team is reduced to four or less characters during a game, it is immediately recovers one token. Survival. All markers recovered by the survivors are worth one additional victory point per game. All markers recovered. So apparently there's some markers. Don't we have a model of a vending machine? Yeah. Thank you, Twisty Jeffrey. It you has. Have been. a vending machine. You guys it are awesome. Is uh in the newsroom closet, and they're probably in a little box uh, on one of the shelves in the closet. Okay. That's where all the Judge Dread miniature painted uh, bits are, I think, unless they are somewhere else. <laughs> unless they are somewhere else. Hey, it's the homie Fatal Baptist, man. I remember you. You betted all those points on me, and we won, man. Betted, bet, bet. Not betted. Let's... That ain't good English. <laughs> um, this is, I. Th it's a survival gang, I, game. So I think it's, is it co-op, Joe, or just free-for-all? I feel like it's free-for-all. We can make it either. Either so way. we can keep it. We could work together sometimes shooting zombies because we're all going <laughs> to die if they eat us. And then if we get close <laughs> to the helicopter, maybe we start taking right. pot shots at each other. <laughs> Try like, to stay get alive. the fuck out of here, you man. You only got to be on my helicopter. You only got to be the, the, the fastest, the second fastest one. Right. The zombies are controlled by the game itself. Each turn, Thank you. a number of these nasty creatures are available and will attack. Watching okay, it. green markers. We'll play some green markers out, and then we will uh, play. Nice. Once it gets back. Yeah, we will. I will have to watch my back. Joe set out quite a few zombie uh, tokens, so it looks like they're going to be coming out at all angles. Yeah, I put three zombie tokens on, on the board. Uh, one right here, here, and on that building. So they're basically in the middle of the board, and then I put a fourth one right in front of the helicopter. Yeah, yeah the Final stand. Um, you get one victory point for each person that makes it to the helicopter. And then I'm about to. You didn't find it? Nice. You found it? Okay. Where'd you get this? I was in there. It's a shipping container. Well, that's too much. Uh, Put Too much scenario at this point. A shipping container in the fucking street. Could be like a trash uh, by the trash bin. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. I think we're done. Uh, everybody's ready. Creating a team. We did that. Scenarios. We did that. Now I just need to get the actual scenario. Do you have any of the green markers? The green circles? Uh, yes. These are stuff that we can pick up along the way that will give us one extra victory point um, if we can make it to the helicopter with it. So let's put them in strategic places that, you know, you'll have to stop to go and get you if you want to win the game. So I'll put one in the sporting goods. One over there in that building, that black building. And then there will be one in this building here. And yes, we will revisit Blood Bowl soon. Yes, we definitely oh. want to play more Blood Bowl. Good call. I want to do a season. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. while. For every game. All right, now that that is done, I'm going to give us, let's see, six turns. Let's just see what happens. 
Okay, I'm a little custom scenario here. Special traits. The following is a description of all traits and abilities in Project Z. Okay, so I'm going to need to keep that around. Does your reference sheets give you a list of special <coughs> traits, or is it just in my uh, rule the book? The special traits are on the back of... And they're explained? Explained on the back of the cards. That's very nice. Yes, Word it is. Again. It's awesome. That's how it should be. So we don't have to like go through that shit over and over. All right. So now we're ready. We just need to play the game. Cool. All right. Uh, first, before we play the game, I'm going to go through some of the game elements uh, just so we know. You have more shit over there, don't you? Um, I have. The only things I have left is the little drop. Wound tokens? Yeah, little uh, drops of blood. Yeah. Some characters are more adept at surviving their daunting environment, either more heavily armored or higher skilled. Characters with multiple wounds on their character cards take a wound token after being injured rather than rolling on the damage table. If a character already has a number of wounds equal to its wound trait, then roll on the damage table is normal. All right, just so you all know, the blue on your character card is movement. That is distance, the furthest distance a miniature from this card can move during their activation in inches. Uh, the green is resilience. I don't know why it's two chain links. Uh, that's not a good representation of resistance. This is the combined value of body armor, resistance to damage, and training that a miniature has. This is the number of combat dice rolled when a miniature is shot at. Mm. Okay. So green is when you're shot at. Melee. Skill in hand-to-hand. -hand. The number of dice a character adds or subtracts if they are impeded to the roll for an attack during a melee. And then shooting. This represents the skill with firearms. It's the number of combat dice the character adds or subtracts if they are impeded to the roll for an attack during a shooting action. Movement, resistance, melee, shooting. Cool. Combat dice. Three sides. The explosion is uh, a hit. The kind of poorly done shirt is like an armor <laughs> and the lightning is a surge if they're using different quantities depending okay loot markers green zombie entry points those you already know mm -hmm. wound tokens you already know uh, reload tokens ammo is in short supply whenever you fire a weapon place a single bullet reload token next to your miniature this can be removed in the upkeep phase if the weapon has the reload special rule then it receives twice the number of reload tokens Use the double bullet token on the other side to represent two bullets. A character can never fire a weapon if it has one or more reload tokens. So you're going to need to clear those before you fire again. What are the grit tokens? Well, the grit tokens are when the going gets tough, you're faced with difficult odds, courage, anger, and true determination often yield better results. Your starting pool of grit is determined when you create your team. This can go up or down. Grit tokens are used in a number of ways. Any character can use the team grit, even if they did not contribute. So, how m do you have any grit tokens? I have three. Okay. How many do you have? Three. I have four. Okay. Here can you give me one more? Yeah. I mean, oh, wow. I think technically we Bad have babe. more grit, don't we? Because if you look, times three, don't we have three people with one grit each? I think they. that's a combination of... I think it's one combination. You might be right. Yeah. Let's just assume it's a combination of. All right. Combat cards is right here. This game uses these somehow. Uh, that's for damage, right? To in it used to increase the number of hits and defenses. Defenses are those armor rolls. Survival cards. Each team starts with up to five. In this case, we're doing three. Additional markers. Okay. Main rules. Here we go. So we do the setup. Then we do the turn, initiative, action, upkeep, movement, resolving, melee, zombies, move, damage, additional rules, grit tokens. Facing waves of zombies and a hail of bullets means every moment can literally be life or death. All grit tokens receive form a pool. It's just the same song over and over. 
Okay. Uh, dark Cyberpunk, there's got to be some horror music that is uh, not copyright. What is love? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's horror music? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The Roxbury? Uh, there's always, uh, let's see, what's a zombie game chat that, uh, any zombie video game, well, let's just do Dying Light 2 since it's on track. What was that one zombie game with the cheerleader? All of them? Oh, man, let's go for it. Her like her, her boyfriend was one. like on her boyfriend was like on a head chainsaw or something maybe lollipop chainsaw lollipop chainsaw mm. there it is thank you now that's a zombie game cool all right we're ready. Welcome to Project Z, y'all. This is a, I think it's now out of print game uh, from Warlord Games. You can still find it for super cheap. I'm in the mood. Check it out. Uh, yes, from time to time this happens. I do want to play a zombie game. <laughs> Let's play a zombie tabletop game, shall we? I've got Patrick and Jay here with me today. Hey. And we are going to jump into Project Z. What is Project Z? Well, we've set up uh, some terrain here going into the overhead view. Um, we each have a group of survivors, four survivors. Here are my four. Here are Patrick's four. And here are Jay's four. And we need to make it to the helicopter. See if I got a, and if you can notice here, helicopter, who do these look like, huh? <laughs> if you're a fan of a certain film, you notice. I think you can catch on. Rest in peace, Carl Weathers. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. That's right. Our objective is to get to the chopper. One victory point for every person you can get to the chopper. There's going to be a bunch of zombies in the way and there's going to be spawning from these three zombie points. So we just have to make our way past. Can we make it? Will we die? Hmm. We're about to find out and we're about to learn. Uh, this is Project Z. Let's play. Okay. There's the intro. <coughs> Yeah, so the stuff is probably not supported as in there you're going to get another expansion, but it's still up on the Warlord website. Um, so they still they still sell it. It's, it's on sale right bitch. now, but I think it's an well, they still sell it. But yeah, it's on it's on sale. No, no, but I shouldn't have said that. Joe, did you want to do like a That's turn fine. zero? Are you doing? Mm -hmm, turn thank summaries? you for reminding me. Turn zero summary for the first. So y'all better get your names of these guys ready. Oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You had it before. You got mittens. You got Azzy. Yeah. Uh, it don't matter if they're male or female. Just yeah. And then you got uh, Jordy or something. Who else? Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, all right. So. How's the music? Music good, chat? Music too loud, needs to be reduced. What do you think? Good, better dancing. Is my mic all right? I feel like it's low, but I don't no, know. No, you're good. I'm good. Yeah, there was, the, there was a thing where I needed to raise somebody's volume because it sounded fine in all of our ears, but it might have been. I'm don't like, don't, don't, don't eat your mic. <laughs> I need to I want it as... Can so hear how me? about how about let's do this? I'll talk right now. You see me talking. You yeah. see how I'm hitting basically uh, negative fifteen, sometimes hitting ten, negative ten. Uh, Jay, do your talking. 
All right, so I'm talking right now, and mine's a little bit lower than yeah, yours, but, but that's so just my voice. But so is Jay's voice, yeah. but I'm going to come over here, see which one is Jay. Keep talking, Jay. All right, so I'm talking right now, and... Okay, so you're this one here. Okay. So I'm going to raise you just a little bit because I feel like... Go ahead. All right, so I am talking again, and uh, I think that's good right there, right? Or no? Keep going. All right, so... My guys, I, I'm going to name uh, all my guys after my cats. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we got it. Uh, that's easy. <laughs> now let's see Patrick. All right, Jimmy, what's up, man? All right, Jimmy. How's it going? So yeah, I you're about like on little... the same level yeah. as, but. Yeah, he's down. Okay, there he's go. down. Now, now he's back. And then I'm going to increase him a little bit. about doing things <laughs> and being upset at work and being awake for way too long. And having verbal diarrhea. That's what, you, that's okay, what works for. You're supposed to go to work and go sleep. Go f hide behind one of the... Oh, like in a uh, pallet? Like yeah. Yeah, and uh, the, the you know, pallet of dog treats or something. You know what? I actually one time caught the uh, like delivery driver like passed out on top of the pallets. Like, yeah. He was like still in our receiving area and he's just sleeping <laughs> on top of pallets. I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, you just passed out on top of... What? All right, here we go. Okay, for our deployment, we have a three-player game. Here is my survivors. This is going to be uh, uh, Psycho Girl. Here is Miss Scarlet. This is Angry Joe. I'm going to go double Uzis. Uh, and this is going to be SMZ Loss. He's going to have a shoddy. Uh, Miss Scarlet is also going to have an assault rifle. And I think... Uh, uh, well, this is Miss Scarlet, and she's going to have a pistol and a knife. And, uh, yeah, so that's my team. Let's come over here to uh, Patrick's team, if you'll point out who's who. Yeah, so first we got the Infinite Mittens right mm -hmm. here Mittens, okay. in the orange jumpsuit. And then we have Azzy right next to her, him. And then we have Newsy right there, and we have George. No, where's Patrick? Oh, we have to. This have is gonna Patrick. be Patrick. All right, Patrick and George. Which one's Patrick? Patrick, suit, George. Okay, and now uh, we got that. Okay, let me redo and give them weapons, so you I'm remember gonna, which weapons. I'm just gonna go with they have equipped. I think that'll be easiest, right? What do they have equipped? Well, this one has a Molotov and a crowbar. Are these all on here or no? I don't know. Yeah, these are Molotov, official yeah. miniatures. Molotov cocktail. I don't right see there. a crowbar, no. Uh, uh, improvised weapon. Okay. Uh, chains or whips, machete, axe. Right, uh, there you go, police or riot club. That can oh, be yeah. a crow crowbar. Cool. I'll do that. I figured that will just be easiest to remember, though, because he's like two handguns. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because we're not writing it on a paper. If we had it on a paper, you give them what they want. Yeah. But, I mean, I my guys don't have what they have. I'm just going to remember. What about you, Jay? Uh, my guys have what they have. What's the week? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, are we ready? Yes. Do it again. Take two. <laughs> Okay, for deployment, we have three players. There's Jay, Patrick, and me. All have to make it to this helicopter uh, with the zombies in the way. So let's check out my team here. I have uh, Miss Scarlet. She's going to have a pistol and a knife. Uh, Angry Joe here is going to go with double Uzis. I've got SMZ Laws backing me up with a shotgun. And I've got Miss, uh, let's see, who is this? Psycho Girl, who is going to have an assault rifle. All right, Patrick, who do you got? All right, first we got Mittens over here in the orange jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Azzy. That's a Molotov and a Molotov. Uh, crowbar. Crowbar, yeah. And then we have Azzy next to him with the uh, two-handed baseball bat. Mm -hmm. And then we have me in the in business suit Patrick. right here. Uh, business Got a attire. Pistol and what else? I don't know. What <laughs> two the hell pistols, I think. I'm just going to. Uh, that's just like two pistols? Sure. Double, a, double pistols. Yeah, it's a What's suitcase. Right. Um, and then I'm going to go with R. Jimmy. R. Jimmy, you're going to be in my group right here with the. Uh, it's a. Uh, pistol on the chain? Yeah, thing. pistol on the chain. Okay. Uh, what do we got over here? All right. So Jay. that's that's me with the. the 
two pistols right there. It looks like you're the cops, yep. Jay. I'm huh? the co- I'm you're supposed actually, to be protecting us. I'm the park rangers. <laughs> but your park rangers are trying to get out on the helicopter. <laughs> and then we got I'm gonna cowards. Go, <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with my cat's name. So we have uh, uh, Chavo right here. Mm-hmm. Chavo He's got a shotgun. Yep. Then we got uh, Issa right mm-hmm. here, and she got a shotgun. And then we have Pablo right here, and mm-hmm. he's got a shotgun. And Jay the lead. <laughs> and me the lead. All right. What kind of weapon do you have, Jay? I got two pistols. All right. Excellent. All right. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, chat can be the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the rest of the chat can be the zombies. All right. So uh, how does this work? Well, I wish I had one of y'all's things, but we'll go. Initiative. We only need one. We, we, can, we can share one over here. I can share one? Yeah, we can share one. Share Put one. it right here in the middle. Well, we'll I'm going to. No, because I'm going to need to go and check the rules constantly, probably. Okay. So initiative phase first. At the beginning of each turn, each player rolls five combat dice to determine the order of the initiative. The player that scores the most uh, hits becomes the active player. And All right. So let's see. This game comes with ten. So y'all are going to have to share these five. So okay. go ahead and roll those, Patrick, first. We'll start with Patrick and me. So I rolled two hits. I rolled four hits. Dang. I think, right? Oh, oh hold on. Why right. isn't yours coming up? Mine came up. Hey, Dixie. 110 me... months for Dixie. He didn't get Hey, a... Dixie. Yeah, yeah, it didn't come up. Maybe it was on uh, an incorrect view. We got to fix all those. First, let me get uh, Dice your cam. camera back up. And Digzy thirteen. Yeah, Thank big you. shout out to the Angry Joe Army from the U or from the UK. Long live good games. Nice. What was your dice cam's name? I think Pat's right. Or Pat's. Oh, I did do Pat. Right Patrick there. Dice. Dice. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and then yours was the one that I needed to switch, and I hadn't switched out yet. Yeah. Damn, that would have been cool for me to. Get that ready in time, but not the case. Okay, so we got it now. All right, so I rolled two, you rolled four. Four? Four, yeah. Four? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, give it to you, Jay. Let's see what Jay got. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, shit, I missed one. Two? I got two and three. All right, uh, Patrick wins. The player that scores the most becomes the active player. In the event of a tie, re-roll the combat dice. So, uh, Patrick's going first. Okay. Uh, we're going to go into the action phase now. When initiative order has been resolved, the sequence follows this simple structure. Oh, but you didn't tell me about multiple players. It's probably on a different page. It just says active player, so I mean, we just go clockwise or whatever. Okay, you're last, right? Yeah. Is that what yeah, works? Yeah. Okay, so action phase, uh, movement subphase, then shooting subphase, then melee subphase. When initiative order has been resolved, the sequence is, follows the simple structure. Movement phase, active player moves their miniature. Next player moves their miniature. All zombies move. All right, so let's do that first. So we do the moving. Yep. Everybody does the moving, then the zombies do their moving. So we move six, or I move six at least. But if you have a special ability of run, you can move up to four or more instead of shooting. Yeah, since I'm so far away from Patrick, I'm going to also move simultaneous. So six... Uh, or it depends c- on your survivors. Mar- our survivors, yeah, it looks like they uh, are six. I have run, so that means they can, what does run do? Move four more inches instead uh, so of shooting. Ten? Yeah. Because most of the stuff, <coughs> excuse me, most of the stuff ranges around six to 24. 24 is a long one for a machine gun. Nobody has a machine gun, so. Uh. 12 inches is going to be along with a rifle. Assault rifle is only six. You 
you can shoot further than your um, weapons range, but it becomes inaccurate. <coughs> All right, so I'm just going to move 10. Cool. Six and four. How are you moving 10? Because six and four, I have run. He has run. Run, moving up to four instead of shooting. Yeah. You're not going to be able to shoot, but right. okay. Cool. But I just do one character? We no, go you move, move you all move your whole team. Yeah. So, um, the very bad babe has run. All our survivors have run because we have. But I'm not going to run. I'm going to shoot. We need to shoot. So. Six inches, we're just moving forward, and I am behind my men. I really don't have any weapons. I see it. It's down. Um, Meek, move back me back ten, this, like this direction, right here. That's right? Yeah, I'm just going to run. I'm going to be behind you. All right. I'm back you up. Nice. You got the long range, yeah. All right, so now we move. So now uh, all zombies move. Four inches. Towards Moving the zombies. Once all players have moved their miniatures, each player moves the zombies on the board that are closest to their opponent. Zombies always move four inches towards the n nearest living enemy character, whether visible or not, ignoring any obstacles. See page 10. Nice. Like other miniatures, uh, during the movement subphase, a zombie must finish its movement within one inch of any enemy character. Of any enemy. Must finish its movement within. That's poor wording there. Must finish its movement when within one. Just say, if you're within one, you stop or whatever. You you are now in close combat. So in this instance, it looks like this. Here is this uh, zombie is closest to my team. So we're going to move forward four inches. And then they said these zombies ignore obstacles, which is quite wild for this game. And so he well, just, it, they he just hops. I think it ignores forward. obstacles to determine who's alive. I don't think it ignores obstacles like they go through obstacles. For the fast type of but zombie. Yeah. It does say page C page ten. Uh the nearest living zombies always <coughs> move four inches towards the nearest living enemy character, whether visible or not, yep. ignoring any obstacles. See page ten. Yeah. See the wording on that is also poor because it's like are you meaning Ignoring obstacles as far as, as, line, far of sight. as line of sight and distance to right. walk towards that person, right. or do you mean they ignore obstacles? All right, obstacles. We consider obstacles as the more bulky elements of scenery that present a physical barrier between the character and the place they wish to move to, or between the character and their target when determining line of sight. Anything solid that lies in the way, except for other friendly miniatures, is an obstacle. An obstacle higher than two combat dice stacked on top of each other is also a barrier. Common examples are cars, urban barricades, large white goods like fridges, washing machines. A miniature cannot end its movement inside or in the middle uh, of crossing an obstacle, but otherwise can try to cross it by having its normal movement value if any part of the movement would be affected by the obstacle. If the character cannot cross the obstacle in one go, it will need to find a different route or stop in a base-to-base -base contact. Okay. Otherwise, it can, can try to cross it by having uh, its normal yeah. movement value. Yeah. Okay. Barriers. Some obstacle. Uh, trying to escape from a menacing zombie horde. These two survivors are trying to reach the other side of a barricade. Yeah, that's uh, wild that... That something that is really important to the game is not yeah. clear. Could you look, uh, double check for me, 2.11? Because in that case, then this chick uh, basically was only able to hop over the obstacle, shamble over it, unless zombies just move so fast that they kind of like. No, I think they, that's correct. That's speed well, over. Do you see the wording on it? Yeah. Read it, it out loud. Yeah. 
the wording is poor. Yeah, so where's the characters can be moved in any direction in any I forgot to move those zombies. Or these ones? Yep, those two. All right. Move those. Oh yeah. How many still you have? Four? Four inches. That's five inches. Yeah, so zombies always oh, move four inches. inches towards the nearest living uh, ca enemy character, whether visible or not, ignoring any obstacles. I think that's just a, it, it's worded a little bit bad, but it, again, it's just saying. <laughs> not it's a moving, little bad. Moving, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's moving fake. towards, moving towards visible or not. I think that's your key word, vi visible or not. Yeah, so ignoring obstacles. Ignoring obstacles, yeah. Visible or not ignoring obstacles. But the zombies themselves do not ignore obstacles. No. Okay. Let's go with that ruling. All right. So once we've got the zombies moved, next, what is oh, shoot. it? Next is shooting subphase. Again, starting with the active player, Patrick, each team has a chance to open fire with its characters. Choose a character from your team and resolve the shooting action in the following manner. The shooting character is called the attacker, the opposing miniature, the target. Determine line of sight. Okay, uh, Patrick, who do you want to fire at? I can't because I ran with everybody. Patrick decided to run in the middle of a zombie <laughs> horde. Got it. But I have, look at all my it, weapons. They're all melee and dumb. all short range. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> next person would be me. Uh, I chose to just not run, so I should be able to shoot. Uh, so let's start oh, with once, Psycho Girl. Uh, at the one second. Um, so one of my cards says play at, play this card at the beginning of the game. Oh, that's place why a uh, vending machine token at least six inches from your deployment zone. And oh, all characters within one inch of the vending machine at the end of the game gain one victory uh, point loot marker. So that's why I needed a vending machine, but the problem with that is I gotta stay back here when I gotta go over to, there. In this scenario, yeah. oh, it would give you in this scenario, you would be left by the helicopter. Yeah. Or in this case, I guess you would get a victory point for staying near it. How many victory points do we get to one? So I could just stay by it. They get four, where you guys could run up there is and it, get four. Yeah, but look at where that that the vending machine is. You, you're so there's pretty a, close to a two spawn points. Two, pretty close to two zombie spawn points. Right. Zomb here, put a zombie spawn from the roof down into the door. So that's two zombie spawn points right next to it. So I wouldn't recommend yeah, hanging yeah. out there, but <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, let me see that card. So, again, these cards that, you know, change the game like that, you have to be very careful the way you balance these. And I think Warlord got in trouble there with Judge Dread. I Am the Law with mm -hmm. their Boing card. This, you know, you would have to handcraft and make sure that it works with every scenario. Or if it doesn't work with every scenario, take it out before you start the game. Right. Because this vending machine does work in, like, f six or seven of the other missions. Right. But it doesn't make sense for, for in this, this one. In this one when you're trying to get away, yeah. But we want to use the car. We yeah. want to show it off. So yeah. there's a vending machine. All characters within one inch at the end of the game will gain one victory point each. So you do have an option now. Yep. It still kind of makes sense. Okay. Uh now shooting phase. Patrick has no shooting. I have shooting. Uh, I said that uh, a psycho girl has a assault rifle. So let's see how we shoot. So determine line of sight. Psycho girl is going to shoot at the fatty. And let's get a nice view of that. All righty. Miniatures, obstacles, inaccuracy pen penalty. Shots taken against obscure targets are inaccurate. Negative one shooting dice for each obstruction or rule that makes the shot inaccurate. This may mean that some shots become impossible as the number of penalties stack reducing the combat dice to zero or less. Mm. Line of sight blocked. Okay, none of that. Check range. Once the line of sight has been confirmed, check the range of the target. All weapons have an effective range described in inches. 
What's the effective range of an assault rifle? Tell me. Assault rifle is six inches. What? You're joking. <laughs> so, and you have two. So you have full auto or single shot, six inches. Oh, shit. Right. Should range. The zombie, Burp. this was out of effective range, but perhaps we can still fire. So, um, characters can fire their weapons up to twice their effective range, so but the inches. shooting action become is then considered inaccurate. So, 12 inches. Yep. So, she's going to have an inaccurate shot. Uh, norm, how many dice? So, if you do full auto, Ten it's uh, dice. 10 dice. But Holy it's short range, shit. it's burst, and it's reload. So you'll get two reload markers. Uh huh. And then single shot is three dice with no uh, additional modifiers. So she would either get two dice for in uh, for ineffective, or she would get five dice if she went full auto. No, nine dice, because it's ten right there. Oh my! Minus God. one is a nine. Yeah, and then uh, that short range burst and reload, which yeah. we would have to read these uh, things. Yeah. So short range is this weapon cannot double when shooting. So uh, when you go full auto, it has to be six, six, inches. six inches. Okay. Burst means a weapon with this trait can distribute the results on the combat dice between any valid target within one inch of the original so, target. So you could shoot both of those. I could have shot both <laughs> of them if good. she was within yeah. six. And then finally, reload. Uh, this weapon receives one extra bullet every time it is used, yeah. so she would have been out and had to reload maybe for two turns, maybe I think it is. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and take a normal single shot. Here we go. Firing. <laughs> That's <armor>. a bolster. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I rolled two defenses, so she missed. <coughs> uh, resolving the shooting action. Uh, the weapon's... Once the effective range has been determined, the player resolves the shooting action. To do so, roll a number of combat dice as estimated below. The number of dice to roll is the sum of the weapon's value, the character's modifier value, number of combat dice added to or subtracted. Oh, she had... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, whether she is the very bad babe or not... Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'll, I'll make her the very bad babe. It would have been plus one to the gun. Surge. So here's what she got. Uh, okay. So it goes. Weapon value, character's modifier value, negative one for every obstacle or other rule that makes it inaccurate. Target then rolls a number of combat dice based on the target's resistance value, the base number of combat dice to be rolled. Apply plus one for cover. So, uh, Patrick will roll for the zombie. Uh, we were shooting at this zombie, I believe. And the zombie's uh, resistance of one. So, you roll one dice. The zombie <laughs> got a defense. So, even if I did get... Mm -hmm. And then let's see what happens... So for every shield rolled by the target cancels a hit rolled by the attacker. If any hits remain, the target is hit. For every hit that remains, roll for damage. Okay. Well, we don't know what a surge does yet, but apparently it didn't tell me to do anything, so I guess I don't get it. Surge. Use this card as if a surge had been rolled. So combat cards. When using combat cards, each player d starts the game with a hand of five cards. During the setup, shuffle the combat card deck and deal five combat cards to each player. Oh, okay, my bad. So let me give five to each of us. One, two, and three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. And then we shuffle them, right? No. Uh, each player starts a hand with a five during setup. Shuffle the combat card deck and deal five combat cards yeah, to each yeah. player. During each turn, players can use their cards to reinforce hits and defensive during combat actions. A few special combat cards will allow players to change the result of other dice rolled, such as damage or reload, for example. Here's a quick description of what the icons do. Okay, so this is a reroll. This is a hit. This is a hit. 
This is a surge. Use this card as if a surge had been rolled. And this is a cancels all hits scored mm. and any hit card played. So this is infinity. Mm. This is basically dis discard anything. Okay. All right. So we have that to augment our stuff. Okay, ammo control. Every time a firearm is discharged, the character receives one reload token. Place a single bullet. Certain weapons, blah, 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 blah. character with one or more cannot fire again until these are removed. Yeah, so we, we got that already. All right. Well, that's it for that one. So now I move on to the next one. I'm going to use my double Uzis. What about double Uzis? Uh, Rack of Uzis is six. Short six range. Inches, short range. Uh, well, I'm going to go ineffective. Okay. What was ineffective again? Minus one? Minus Are one. you sure it's not halved it? Why did I think it was halved? It's minus one and then... Check range. Characters <coughs> can fire their weapons up to twice, but the shooting is then considered inaccurate. See above. Inaccurate shootings receives a penalty for negative one for each obstruction or rule that makes the shot inaccurate. Yeah. So just negative one? Well, because it's short range, you can only shoot six. You don't get that extra double to get that accurate. Oh, Uzis are short range, so yeah. they can't even reach. Yeah. They They're not even able to shoot. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, we're going to have to... So that was that. She's got a hand pistol, which is short range. So the only other person that can fire is uh, SMZ Laos. He's got a shoddy, which surprisingly is not short range. The shotgun and, is, and yeah, it, six inches, three. And it's also burst. burst. Yeah. So it's going to grab both of these. We'll just say she's a little closer. And it is three dice normally yeah. minus one. So three dice normally plus the character, which is no. Some survivor has nothing. So minus one. So it's two dice. Shotgun blast. Go. <laughs> Five. Nothing. <laughs> That's it. And he just wasted his ammo. This is not good. Okay, Jay. All right. What about you? Um, I ran, so I'm good. I am done. You, you, <laughs> both <laughs> groups over there yeah. ran. Yeah. Well, I, I'm trying to hide behind Patrick. <laughs> yeah. Are y'all crazy? You're gonna get overwhelmed. <laughs> ah, nah. All right. We're good. We're good. Well, hopefully you don't have a bad shooting phase like I just <laughs> did because you're about to have zombies in the midst of the game's over. He's got a Molotov cocktail. We're good. Yeah, I'm going to start. All nasty. right. So let's see uh, how many more uh, sections we have before I uh, do end of turn one. Yeah, yeah. So, so melee, sub melee sub phase. Active player moves and fights. What? Moves and fights? Melee sub phase. Following initiative order during the melee sub phase, the active player can move any of the characters that are within two inches of an enemy into base to base contact with it mm -hmm. and engage them in close. So you have to be within two inches and then you can sort of get a free charge. Yeah. Uh, this is engagement moving and initiates melee. Once engaged, resolve each combat in full. Okay. So melee resolution, zombies. Zombies move and engage the same way as all the other characters. Zombies move and fight. No zombies are within two inches of y'all, so they won't get to move. Now we move on to the upkeep phase, correct? Yeah. At the end of each turn, starting with the active player, each player resolves the following steps. Recover shocked miniatures. Starting with the player with the initiative, all players stand their shocked miniatures back up. Zombies stand up last. Nobody got shocked. No. Roll to reload. Oh, you have to oh. roll to reload in this game. Roll to reload weapons. When using the additional rules, every time a character uses a firearm, the controlling player places one reload token. During the upkeep, each player rolls one combat dice for every reload token they have. The player may remove a reload token for every defense scored. A character with a reload token cannot use any of their ranged weapons until all reload tokens are removed in this way. All right, so coming to me, um, one dice... Yep, for every reload token. So two two tokens, two dice, and I can only reload once. So, <laughs> so uh, let's do the shotgun reloads because he can hit two people within one inches, and she can't. Unless she actually, she can go full auto, but I don't think yeah. we're in danger yet. Yeah. So I'm going to remove that one. That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, and then you guys don't have, you didn't take any shots, so there's no reload. Replenish combat cards. If using additional rules, draw as many combat cards as needed to fill your starting hand. Alternatively, do not replenish your hand and receive one grit token. Ah, oh, so that's a constant part of the game. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason not to use combat cards. Right. I don't know if I like that because this is quick and clean resolution. Yeah. You're just adding a bunch well, the, of cards. Well, the, the cards will help you. I know, but it's Ma like... Manipulate one. the dice, you know. A few combat cards, well... How many can you use? I don't know. That's a good question. When using combat cards, each player starts the game with a hand of five. During each turn, players can use their cards to reinforce hits and defenses during yeah. combat actions. A few special combat cards will also allow players to change the results of other dice rolled. Replenish combat cards. If the additional rule, if using the additional rules draws as many combat cards needed to fill your starting hand. What do the dice in the bottom right mean? Well, then honestly, we should have just. I guess used you use it for dice. It would, it would be. Okay, so because you guys ran, yeah. you didn't need to do jack shit. Yeah. But I technically can augment my stuff, right? Well, when you, yeah, when you did that. So we're going to go backwards and yeah. we're going to say because in this game you would always do it. Yeah. So that. So we still don't know what roll. surges do. This doesn't help me because that blocks all hits. All right. This You're allows me to re roll, I don't know, re roll any or all of the dice of a single roll. Well, oh, there you go. The, the okay, one of your do, shoots. I'm going to do that. Yeah. And uh, we'll go back to the shotgun guy. He was rolling two, two dice. dice. Yeah. And he still, <laughs> still, still <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> well, fuck you. I'm going to use two <laughs> of my combat yeah, cards to, change it to, yeah. to basically force two hits to go through. Yep. And so I had to use three combat cards total. I have these two combat cards left. And I've applied two hits now to roll, the zombie. Now two, the two, zombie. Roll two of those. <laughs> why are you giving the zombie two dice? He only has oh. one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because well, he's not behind an obstacle. Right, because he's... Uh, so this one. Because it's just on the resilience, not on the no amount of shots. Oh. No. No defense. No dice. Okay, so I got that zombie with two hits. <laughs> so now that we added in the combat cards, we did that, uh, and I got two hits. So let's see what happens. Yeah. We need to work Damage. through this anyway. So. After determining the number of hits, roll the number of combat dice, roll that number of combat dice, and apply the best result from the damage table below. So I only applied one hit. It's flesh wound, shocked, or slain. That's slain. Thanks. So this would have been flesh <coughs> wound. This would have been shocked. And this is slain. Remove the model from the table immediately. Nothing can be done to avoid this, but don't worry. They'll probably come back and eat the rest of your team. Well, that was a, you know, it was a human. Yeah. But. So you only roll one for... Both hits. One for each hit that was not blocked. Yeah, so you would have rolled another one anyway. No. Oh, you're you right. I would have rolled another one, so I would have got a uh, flesh wound. Flesh wound, which does the character is fully operative. Yeah, so it does nothing. Yeah. I don't like how the wording on it is just for characters and not zombies. It makes me wonder if zombies operate differently, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I like that, though. I mean, it's pretty pretty quick. Interesting. And to the point. Quick resolution. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we have a slain zombie. Ba Bam. That's a shotgun blast. <laughs> I had to use all of my cards, though. But, you know, you replenish them at the end of the turn. So it's right. Not, not and a big so deal. now we're fast forwarding to the end. And according to these rules. Well, the last thing uh, after upkeep phase is spawn zombies. According to the scenario. Replenish combat cards. So that's where we're at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alternatively, if using additional rules, draw as many combat cards as needed to fill your starting hand. So I'll, I have two left. So I'm going to draw three. One, two, three. Y'all didn't use any. And this is going to get yeah. annoying because we're going to have to have reshuffle to every, shuffle and stuff a lot. Minutes. So I get, now I got five. Let's see what I got. I got a surge, a hit, and another hit. Okay, spawn zombies. 
Zombies are spawned according to the mission rules for the zombie entry points. If you run out of zombies to spawn in all entry points, players can choose whether to place the remaining ones and all zombies receive their hunter special trait for the rest of the game. That's if you run out. Yep. Spawn according to mission rules for zombie entry points. Oh, shit. You know what? I forgot to move these guys. Okay, so I guess that's in the scenario book here of how zombies... Zombies are controlled by the game. Each turn, a number of these creatures are available and will attack characters. Zombies. Deployment. Zombies are deployed in turn one adjacent to all place four zombies in contact with each. Escalation. The number of zombies respawn each turn escalates at the beginning of turn three. Flip all so they show their escalation. Sorry, that's turn three. Number of zombies escalates at the beginning of turn three. Uh, during each upkeep, during uh, mission one, during each upkeep, e upkeep phase, place one further zombie in each. In one more. And then once we get to turn three, then I'll do something. Where's my big dice? I have my big fat dice somewhere. That helped me with uh, these games that used to have the turn counters. Yeah. Since I don't use the <coughs> turn counters anymore. Right here. Over there. You found it? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. All right. So most of these missions, scenario three escalates in turn four, escalates in turn three, escalates in turn three. Escalates in turn four, escalates in turn three, escalates in turn three. So I say, well, uh, just to make it easy, since it's our first time, we'll escalate it in turn four. Okay. How many turns total? Two zombies when it gets escalated, and we're going to go six turns total. Okay. Assuming that's even enough to get to the helicopter. If it's not, I need to start running. <laughs> Okay. Get to the chopper. Because our table is a little further. Maybe we'll go seven turns just, just for fun. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's the end of the turn, right? Yep. Okay, now, and that is a very, very simple game. I like super simple games, especially when you're just simulating a zombie invasion. You don't need anything too fancy. And anything that's fancy seems to already be on the cards. Right. All right, let me film. Here we go. Recap of turn one. Okay, turn one recap. Uh, Angry Joe's Vatos uh, are, are, have made their way forward by just using a normal move and taking a shot with everybody that could. Angry Joe's out of range with his Uzi. Same thing with uh, Miss Scarlet with her pistol. Psycho Girl with her assault rifle took a single shot and missed. And then we had uh, uh, SMZ Lost fire the shotgun and actually kill the fatty. And uh, and then a zombie uh, spawned at the end of the phase. And then over here, both teams, uh, Patrick and Team J, decided to run. So they have no shooting. These zombies just lurch forward. A little dangerous. This next phase, they better get all those shots off. One more zombie popped out of each hole. Even one back there. These zombies are lurching forward. And the helicopter... Uh, is starting to see the survivors. So they're gearing up and starting the engines. Okay. So let's do initiative. No, you Three. Wanna change the camera. There I go. got one. He got one. And I got two. So it's on you, Joe. Oh, I go first? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I was not able to clear that ammunition reload there, so I need to... She can't fire. 
Um, oh, right. Movement first, right? Yeah. And then shooting later. Movement first. Everybody movement, movement first, yep. Activate, activate player moves all their miniatures up. Well, that's scary body. because the zombies are about to move as well. Correct. That kind of freezes you up because you don't want to get it. Well, let's just see what I happens. Mean, you don't have to move all six. You can move three. Right. But I need to get to this helicopter. So I I uh, I shove uh, <laughs> I shove let's see psycho girl in front of me and I am using the woman to shield myself just in case those zombies get a little cheeky there. Okay, uh, that's my movement. Uh, yep, that's me. Um, Move me six down down this way. This I'll, way? I'll go. I'll go after these guys. Right. I don't know. Let me see. Hold, hold on one second. Though. Yeah, back them up a couple inches because I don't want them to <laughs> get too close to me. All right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> because the zombie's gonna move after us. Yeah, I think I'm gonna strafe a little bit this way. Yeah. Maybe a little back. Because they're going to go four. Yeah, you want us to keep them two inches, at least two inches away from you. Yeah. I think that'll be okay. Okay. So I just went sideways there. Yeah, Patrick <laughs> got a little scared. Jay, what did you do? You I just, uh, no, I came up. All six? Yeah, he came up a little But bit. no uh, running. So four. you could shoot I now. I came up, right? came yeah. up four. About four. Okay. I did so, a little straight. <laughs> so shooting now. No, no, no. Zombies move. <gasps> zombies move. Uh-oh. That means that the zombie is in contact move these with Psycho Girl. This zombie moves four, which the movement is halved going across the obstacle. If zombies do pay respect to obstacles, so the rules are a little unclear. Here come the zombies. Do these guys move? Yeah, yeah move them. All zombies move. You move the back ones, Jay? Yeah, move the back ones. Cool. Okay, getting hot and heavy now. She is about to hit the fan. Let's see who survives. Some skirmishes. Okay, so now we go into the shooting phase. Correct. Yes? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Can he shotgun blast these two chicks? No. He's only going to be able to get one of them. I was seeing if there was a one inch. Um, but Miss Scarlet is now within six of both. Everybody is within six of both. So I'm going to say um, Psycho Girl Duck. And I pull up my two Uzis, doing Desperado style. Pop, 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 pop. What are the Uzis? Rack of Uzis. How Uzi. many dice? So six. Six, six dice. Six burst and reload. So you're going to get two. Burst oh. and reload, OK. There's four dice. Here's another dice. Uh, since this was a missed, I'm going to ro roll that one for my sixth dice. That's three hits. And I could augment it more with, obviously, all these cards. I need a discard pile for these. Um, is that enough? Three hits? Yeah, Should because be. the most that zombie is going to be able to block with is one. So go ahead, Patrick, block. Nope. Nothing? Uh, it rolled off camera for some reason. That's a hit. And then, so no, no, so three. So then with three successful hits. Oh, but I get my gun is completely out, right? Yeah. Right, with two. So I need at least one surge to completely kill that zombie. I did it. So, pop, 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 pop. That zombie is killed and removed. All right. 
Uh, that was just a joke. She, or not a joke, but that was just a f cool maneuver. She's not actually n knocked over. So, shotgun uh, from SMZ Laws to this one. What's the shotgun? Shotgun is three. Within six inches. Within six inches and three. Three. And that is no hit. No, no bueno. We're going to go ahead and use our two hits from our five combat cards for a total of two hits. Patrick? You're all done shooting? Patrick, uh, roll, roll for the uh, zombie. Defense. One block. So one makes it through. And that one is a flesh wound. No damage. Yep. Fuck. Um, shot his hand off. Yeah. Now the pistol. What are the uh for handgun? What are the uh pistol is a T, short range. Short range. Any other thing? Yeah, also, also counts as a hand weapon. But no other specials. Yep. Just short range. I got one hit there, Patrick. Roll for the zombie. Nope. Okay, it went through. Let's see if it does anything. It does. Yeah! Killed him. Got it. <laughs> nice, Miss Scarlet. Excellent. However, my entire team is uh, now uh, needing to reload. Okay, moving on to these boys over here. All right. Go ahead. So, Mittens is going to go first. Mittens has a Molotov cocktail. Mm-hmm. Which is six dice. <laughs> at four is it inches. like an area of effect thingy? Yeah. Blast, uh, Blast, single shot. Okay, I'll read it. And them. short range. Blast, single shot, short range. So you can get those two right there. Hang on. So blast is within one inch? Oh, that yeah. cocktail should be more than one inch. Okay. Um, where's the. Blast? Yeah, yeah within one inch, roll the combat of dice to determine the effect. We're go okay, go ahead. Uh, I need one more dice, or should I just re-roll? I only have five. I need yeah, just re-roll a missing five. one. Damn. Got it. So four. Uh, and it says here, work out the result against each target's resilience individually. So it ain't going to matter because... So that's kind of annoying. So you have four hits against two zombies, right? Mm -hmm. These these two zombies. Yeah. Uh, so roll this zombie's resilience. What is the bunch of zombies' resilience? It's one. One. So this guy's resilience. Damn it. He does do one, so he's only going to receive three, and she is going to receive four. Okay, so go ahead and roll four dice for Big Bertha back here. Is it not split up between the two? It says resolve for individually. And it just says resolve individually. So, yeah, that lightning kills her. Nice. And the firefighter? Three, right? Three dice. Three yeah. dice. Yeah. Nope. And Go he ahead. has a shot. Yeah, two shots. Lay the model face down on the spot. Shot characters are recovered during the upkeep phase. Grit tokens can also be used to recover a shocked character immediately after they have been shocked. So place him face down. Yep. Remove the face down. Yep. And then I need to put a token by him. Uh, no, because yeah. it's a Molotov cocktail. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's a one single shot. use. Yeah, single I use think, yeah. So you're for done. the whole game. What's oh, it called? That's only a single, single shot. shot. This weapon can only be used once during the game. Yep. Huh. So there goes Mittens, once for game, <laughs> Molotov. I thought I was going to get all three. Yeah. That sucks. It only had a one inch. Yeah, see, that's why I think for once a game, that's mm. not very powerful. Yeah, especially a one inch. I don't uh, like that. Radius. It's pretty weak. All right, you got three other characters over there. Do any of them have guns? <sighs> yeah, I have dual. Uh, I'm just going dual, uh, ra I guess, rack of pistols. Yeah. So that's three at six inches. Mm-hmm. So three dice. Got that zombie out in the open. And oh, nice. Bow, bow, bow. I'll roll for the zombie. Zombie has no defense. So then that's three hits. So roll three wounds. And you got nothing. nothing. He gets <laughs> knocked over. However, I'm curious <coughs> if he receives another shock while he's yeah. knocked over, could that's that potentially kill it? 
Let me read. You rolled a flesh wound and two shocks. Uh, see additional rules on page nine. It says, there's one that says, a miniature that is engaged with a shocked miniature can finish it off if uh, it has any attacks left. If it's in close combat. Yeah. So you have to walk up to it and put a bullet in its brain. Okay. But right from this, nothing. Okay. All right, so that he does get a token next to him, right? Yeah, this for one. shooting, yeah. And then he has only melee. He has a melee and a pistol. Can you I have shoot? to use a grit token to finish it off? Yeah. Finish off a shocked enemy miniature during the melee round is what a grit token does. Oh, wow. Okay. Or one of the things a grit token can do. So can I shoot at them when they're down? Mm, or no? No. Well, that's going to complete my shooting then. Wait, let me, let me see. Finish it off. Shock characters are perfect targets for an easy kill, either for a shooting action or in melee. Hmm. A character can declare a shocked miniature as the target of their attacks. Hmm. When shooting, any hit scored against the shock target can be rolled on the damage table to try to slay the character. The target applies its resistance normally. In a melee, the attacking character target will automatically be slain if at least one attack can be declared against it. No rolls needed. So basically... So then why would you ever use a grit? Finish off a shocked enemy during the melee round. That doesn't make any sense. If you reach page 7 and then you look at page 9, why would you ever use a grit if in melee it's automatically slain? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. These rules are messed up, Warlord. Come on now. Here, I want you to go and look at melee resolution on that page and then that bit right there about grit tokens. Uh, but yeah, so, so what I think is we're going to rule it to where you have to... It can't all be in one go. You know what I mean? So if you roll three downed in one melee yeah. or one damage resolution roll, it doesn't count as you downed it, you hit it again, three and it dies. Yeah. Right? They're just simply counted. The, the extra shocks are wasted. Yeah, basically. If yeah. you target it again with somebody else who is on the ground and you do damage, then you can potentially slay it if you roll a slay. Agreed? Correct. Uh, correct. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Again, the rules are written not, not very well written. I could see why they maybe sunsetted the game and maybe are waiting for uh, an updated rule set. Okay. Uh, Patrick, keep going. So I can shoot you at can shoot at these downed inches. ones, yes. Right. So finishing it off, I, that... Using a grit token is an basically use the grit token for skipping the r roll process. No? Because if you read the actual wording on that grit token, it says in melee. Now, if it yeah, said it in shooting, then. Well, in the that melee phase, sub phase. In the melee phase, right? Right, right. But when you're finishing off somebody in the melee phase, you, you don't roll. Read, read, okay, read, on, on. read the grit token ability. In melee, attacking characters target will automatically be slain if at least one attack. See, you still have to attack. Whereas you use the the grit token, and you don't even have to. Wait a minute. Roll. They, you don't have to roll for both. In melee, attacking character target will automatically slay if at least one attack can be declared. It's jacked up anyway. <laughs> Against it, no rules needed. I don't. Uh, go ahead and continue okay, playing. You, you, you can still shoot at it. Roll my, roll my two. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm roll my two here. And then uh, I guess I'll just use one of these to change it to a hit. Might as well. Because we re redraw them, right? Is that how yeah. that works? Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's worded poorly, but now you, you, with you said that to me, I think. You can finish off a shocked enemy miniature during the melee round anywhere on the board, maybe. Mm. That'd be the only way I could think it, but it's not written that way, and so I'm hesitant to even declare that. Yeah. All right. Let's just play it thematically. All right. So two hits. So two hits against which one? 
Um, whoever's closest, I guess, this guy. Yeah. Firefight. All right. Go so ahead. roll his. Wait, roll his uh, resistance. Yeah. One block. Okay. So one, one dice. Yeah. That's no, it's not one dice. Yeah. Because you block one. I got two hits. Oh, yeah, right. Two one hits, block. Yeah. Okay. No. No. So that is another shocked, shocked. result. So it does nothing. And that's it for me. Okay. So basically, so you, it's you basically you sh shooting little bits and pieces off of them. Off of the zombie. Yeah. He's still coming. Yep. All right. Uh, pa uh, not Patrick. Jay. All right. So, all right. We'll start off with my guy. And he has uh, Racco Pistols. So that's three dice. But since he is my lead dude, he gets full, uh, plus one to his combat dice. So four dice. He gets one. Cool. Hit. Just one. Okay. I'll roll for him. It's blocked. It's blocked. Okay. Of course it is. Put a, a ammo token. Actually, yep. Ammo token. Right next to him. All right, next, I'll go with one of the shotguns. Shotguns are three dice with burst. And those guys are close enough to get both these shots. So three dice. Two hits. Okay, let's see if you split them or if it go against both. Roll the combat dice to determine. Work out the result. What is it called? Burst? Burst. Work out the result against each target's resistant resilience individually. So you apply two hits to each target. Okay. So first target is this guy. He does not defend. Second target is that guy. He does defend. All right. So first guy with two hits. <laughs> He's knocked down. He's knocked down. Patrick, knock him down. There you go. Okay. And the next guy gets one hit. And he she is, is a flesh, flesh wound. wound. Does not hurt her. Not dead. All right. Ooh, y'all in trouble. <laughs> it's another, <laughs> another uh, ammo token there, or reload token. All right, so the next one. You have two more uh, people that can shoot? Yeah, two more Okay, shotguns. don't forget, if you want, you can oh, yeah, shoot yeah, Patrick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I'm just saying. Just saying. I think I, think I got a little. I think y'all should work Are together. Are we there yet? Yeah. Hey, do your table yet. talk. Do yeah. your table talk. Say, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, man. I think we. Uh, uh, here we go. Not yet. We're in not this yet. together. Not yet. We're not to the end yet. So. <laughs> That's what uh, Two hits again with the shotgun. So well, you see <laughs> what he's doing, Patrick? <laughs> he's saying me up. maybe later yeah, he maybe will. Yeah. So why he's don't you do it first? <laughs> Joe's That's the funnest part of hey, this game. Let's go get Joe. Yeah, That's right. the funnest <laughs> part Joe. of this game. Come on, <laughs> bring it, boys. Bring it. <laughs> All right, so do uh, one uh, resilience for, for okay, each Okay, one of resilience them. for each of those. That guy blocks it. That guy blocks it. Yeah. So both are at one. So is it nothing. Nothing. Flesh wound. And then and the girl is up. The girl zombie is dead. She dies. Oof. Here, put it in the zombie pool. Mm -hmm. And then my last shotgun with three shots at the guy that is down. One hit. I think I will mm. use you're a adding some cards. Don't forget a your card. Three roll card. So we'll go back to Patrick after. I, I did use my card. Okay, cool. Let's so I'm going to keep I that just... one and then re roll these two. And that does nothing. nothing. Yeah, Guess what? I'm going to use another reroll card. Wow. So I have another one. Okay. Thing right there. Boom. We'll reroll these two again. Good. I'll take that. So two hits on that guy that's on the ground. Roll a resilience for him. Blocked. Blocked. One of them. Oh, my gosh. Lots of Blocked. Uh, flesh wound. Flesh wound. <laughs> Not dead. All righty. Yeah, he gets a reload up there. A double reload? No. I'll flip that over, please. And we are complete. Don't give two tokens to one miniature. Cool. Okay, that's uh, the end of turn. We still have melee phase, don't we? Yeah, but nobody can. I'm not even going to melee. I can melee. It. Are you within two? Oh, you're not within two. Are the shot guys No. Yeah, no. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. So we skip melee phase because nothing is within melee range. Yep. 
Uh, we move on to upkeep. Upkeep. So if you look here, all my guys, one, two, three, four, four, four to reload. Oh Nothing. my God. <laughs> Everybody is too busy uh, celebrating all the zombies they killed than uh, reload their weapons. What about you guys? All right, so I have four. I'm going to roll those four dice. Uh, I reload three. Nice. And then I will use a grit to reload that last one. So I am spending one grit, and all my guys will be reloaded because we are professional Bigfoot hunters. So I roll two. Mm -hmm. I need shields. You need a. Uh, you need yeah. shields. Yeah. Right, so one of one, you you choose the guy that ends up reloading. The other one is gonna have to leave that token out. Well, I put this out to change it to this. Yep. Is that how that works? Uh, I would Kay. assume so. But let's check. Good tokens. Can be played during a combat resolution to add. Defense to any roll after all have been calculated. No, so it's an additional card. So to your defense. Can be played during a combat resolution. This is not a combat resolution, so you right. can't do that. Take it back. No. You don't have anything else can't, that can can't do it, it on the reload. You, you can always use a grit to, to reload. No, I'm fine. The rerolls will work here, though, because it says reroll any or all of the dice of a single roll. Okay. Right. Here's so, uh, zombies spawn. So, we're going to have uh, zombies one. Wait. So, we did uh, upkeep. Two. All miniatures. Doo -doo -doo, combat, all this, players combat cards this first. This chick never moved. She just spawned. Well, if she spawned at the upkeep phase of the last turn, then she would have needed move. to move a yep. little bit. One here. One here. And then combat cards. So I need two. I need two. I need one. All right. So, uh, turn summary here for turn two. At the end of turn two, Angry Joe's Vatos eliminated all of the zombies in front of them, but they were too busy celebrating, uh, so none of them did, none of them managed to reload. Here comes another zombie, though, popping. Uh, at the end of uh, turn uh, two. So over here, uh, what happened over here? I was shot and I stunned two. Killed one. Kill, or yeah, killed one. I tried, I threw Molotov at first. Yeah. That was a turn ago, yeah. right? Yeah. Or maybe it was this no, turn. It was no, it was this turn. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be hard to remember. <laughs> I threw the Molotov and it didn't have quite the radius I would like. And I killed one, knocked down one, and then I shot. And Not as strong. effective as you was hoping, yeah. but they're on the ground, so that's good. Bad, uh, Jay. So I took all my firepower, killed one, knocked one down, and that's where we're at. And we luckily got to reload everything. More shambling from good. the spawn zones. So we're going to see. Uh, so there was some good contact there, and we'll see how we progress in turn three. So these all come up also. They all stand up at the cleanup phase. When? Or upkeep phase. At the very end? At the up, upkeep. At the beginning? All shock miniatures start with the active player, finish with the zombies. Got Recover it. and stand back up on, on the spot. All right, cool. Now we got to see who is first. God damn it. Two. I think I'm first. By the way, this rolled a hit off camera. So that's four. You got four? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Nice. Uh, three. That means I can go on a bathroom break. Yeah, yeah you did it. <laughs> All right. So I got, uh, let's get my boys here. Nobody 
nobody has a loaded uh, gun. So I think at this point, let's do some running. We're just going to try <laughs> to run past. And running is what? Is uh, four additional inches. So four? Total, to total of 10, 10 inches. Everybody can run 10 inches? Yep. Yeah, damn. Hmm. Ah, fuck. Fuck it. We're going to make it to the damn helicopter. Ten. Ten. She's going to come around. Ten. And you know what? Angry Joe's going to take one for the team. I'm going to have to deal with a motherfucking zombie. I'm pretty fucking sure. Just hopefully I can shoot him first. Wait a minute. Let's see. This, this is not smart what I am doing, Chad. Because it's only one. I don't think. Yeah, it's only one, but that's yeah. all they need. And I, none of my, if all my guys had reloaded their weapons, then we could shoot before this guy reacted. I think we're going to. If I can survive this bite, then we're good. Oh, man. I'm feeling the pressure. We'll say seven turns instead of six because the table was a little longer than I think yeah. was. Alright, so I'll go I'll go into melee with this guy. And then we'll have to move up everybody else. Actually. Let's say that I'm gonna push this woman in in front of me. I'm gonna use a woman to shield me. <laughs> Psycho girl, I pushed her out in front of me. All right, so and I'm done. I don't know what on where Patrick yeah, moves, Patrick and then all the zombies will move. But let's do that now. So <coughs> zombies move. So this zombie m makes contact with uh, Psycho uh, Psycho girl yeah. because I pushed her. But there's also a zombie behind there that's going to come up as well. Four inches, yeah. Yeah, four inches that way. This one is 21 inches away. Yeah, I'm definitely closest. closest. I am still closest. This guy's closest. You're close to that right one. Here. Yeah, this guy. So this guy over here. So since we're doing all the these, those are gonna head towards me now. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Cool. Yeah. We're ready. Zombies made contact with you? Oh, I made con I made contact first. But and then you the have loaded weapons. Yeah. So that's your saving grace. Well, if you make contact, then um, you get a plus one to the die roll. Or plus one die. What? So miniatures that engage, in their tar engage their targets receive a plus one uh, die. In what phase? In melee. Basically, no, it's, that's your charge bonus. First. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to stay outside of one inch. To and shoot. then in the melee, remember, that's when you move the two inches and you get the charge bonus. We'll just say you did it out of order and you're fine. Well, I mean, in my, Wait. Move, in my movement, I can move into melee range. Yeah, but if you move into melee range, you're not getting the bonus that you get from the melee subphase. The only reason why you get that bonus is when you move two inches that charged of two inches into the enemy. 
It doesn't say you get a bonus when you just use your normal movement and move into a zombie. All right, so any miniatures in the active with one or two inches. Okay. It's the charge bonus. Melee. It's both waiting attack, until your attack. melee to move two inches into contact. That gets you the plus one, doesn't it? Plus one to the miniature that initiated the combat. Right. How do we determine who initiates the combat? Wh whoever moves into the engagement. In the melee phase. Right. Well. But not the movement subphase. You may not finish your movement within one inch of a non-friendly model. So you, so you can't, can't move go in. there. Yeah. You have to move into... In the so that don't make no sense. So yeah. So in the movement phase, there's no moving. So, but if yeah. you if you're both within, yeah, there's no moving. It's weird. So then you have to wait till <laughs> the melee phase. Then that's where the two inches. So the zombies move. can't move into melee with you. No, they can't. But you can't move into melee with zombies. <clears throat> you can, if you choose to go at the zombie. In the melee phase, you get two inches to charge it. Or you could say, I'm not going into melee with that zombie. However, when the zombies go, they're going to go two inches into you, and they're going to get the bonus. So you better get that bonus before they get the bonus. I'm talking about in the movement phase. I know. You just said you can't move. In the movement phase, you can't move within one inch. So if your troopers right here yeah. moved in the movement phase into combat, that's not correct. They would have to stop right here in the movement phase. Then we go to the shooting phase. Then, if anybody's still left alive, you do the two inches of movement in the melee phase. So, e okay, got that. Check. The zombies cannot move into within one inch. Correct. So over here, when I did this with this, he's technically still here. Okay. All right. It's dumb. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care for that. I don't care for that either because it overcomplicates something that's so fucking yeah. simple. Yeah. Why would you put an extra why wait? step in yeah, there? Yeah, why wait? Just go in there. Who <laughs> writes these rule systems? This is um, original concept game and product design. Richard Fortin or Rickard. Rickard will have to explain this to us because I, I don't get that. But this is why we play these yeah. things, to see to how see. what people are doing. Yeah. Okay, Patrick, uh, you are back, so we need you to move, move your guys. Your, your shite. <laughs> uh, and well, just so you I, I would recommend. Moving back. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to say anything. Just know that you can't move within one inch of an enemy, and the enemy cannot move within one inch of you. Right. In the movement Just phase. end your movement so you have the option to move. You have the option to run. You have the option. Well, right now, it's just movement. So moving and running. If you run, you can't shoot later on. We have seven turns to make it to the helicopter. It is now turn three. Yep. Start at turn three. Or the chopper is leaving. <laughs> I guess I'll go this. Keep on strafing towards the I mean, helicopter. we're going to have to go through them at one point. Yeah. Uh, the more we try to get the away more from them, um, the more freaking zombies are coming. That makes sense. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I care that you don't make it to the chopper, but <laughs> <laughs> just some friendly advice. All right, so those guys will have to move. Okay, so then these zombies move, and by rule, it's awkward. This zombie moves to the closest, has to stop within one inch. Yep. I don't like this. And then this one ha moves here, has to stop within one inch. This one moves around here, stops there. This one moves here, stops here. And then in the melee phase... Patrick is going to be given the option first whether Correct. he wants to Correct. engage. If he chooses to engage, he gets the plus one. Right. If Patrick says, no, I'm not moving in there, then, and the zombie hits him, the zombie right. gets the plus one. But before that, we go to the shooting. 
So okay. uh, check, let's check. come over here to my shooting phase. Nobody can shoot. Oh my guys, guns are <laughs> unfortunately out of ammunition. Let's move on, move on over to Jay. Jay, shoot. Everything is shooting. Pow, pow, pow. All right, so me first, uh, my Racco pistols. So short range and three plus my Can one. Can you please for stop saying Racco pistols? <laughs> That's I what it says. I do not That's care. What it says. This UK based game that is That's the dumbest it. phrase I've ever heard. Please say dual pistols. My double Racco. Double pistols. My even better. No, I my like two dual single better. pistols in one hand. Each. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. That's here we four go. guns. <laughs> Oh my god! What the That's what you get. <laughs> I'll get. Guess what? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use a grit to reroll. A grit to yeah. reroll re all, all my dice. stuff. That's uh. what you get. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. You don't have any more cards that'll help. No. No? Once okay. you spend your grit, you lose it forever. All right. So put yes. uh, ammo. Who was that that, that did was that? Me. That was you? Yeah. All Can't right. Hit next a broad is side of a barn the day. shotgun. And luckily, it's on as blast. <laughs> so That'll get, get both the two in the front. Yep. Here we go. Got one. One hit that is applied to both individually. <sighs> so here's the fat guy closest to the vending machine gets hit. The other one gets hit. They both take uh, uh, one, one damage each. Okay. So... First guy, the fat guy, is flesh wound. Flesh wound. Second guy, dead. Dead. Ba bam. Ba bam. Flesh. Oh, flesh wound, right? Yeah, flesh wound doesn't do nothing. Doesn't do to nothing. the fat guy. Yes, yeah, because of the shot. All right, next put, shotgun. Put a put an ammo token. Yep. Which is next the guy shot. that fired that one? This one. Okay, next guy. Next next shotgun. And you got two zombies left. Got one. Got one. Let's see if the zombie blocks it. The zombie does not block it. You got lucky. Here we go. And yeah. it's down. It's down. Yep. Cool. I'll take that. And then we'll try to shoot Fourth the guy top. in the back. Wait, the guy in the back? Yeah, this guy right oh, here. Oh, yeah, that guy. Not his literal back, but he's in the back. Two. Two. He doesn't block three. anything. Three. Why did he roll three dice? Because it's three dice. Because I dropped one on the ground. Okay. All so, right, yeah, right that right. guy takes three hits. If that guy doesn't die. And he's done. He surged. He gone. He gone. He gone. Right. Nice. The cops took care of business. <coughs> Got one zombie another. on the ground. Let's see if Patrick can take care of business. Patrick right. is in a worse spot. He's got three on. Well, no, that's how many you had. Yeah. There's no, yeah, there's no more. Okay. To inform Patrick, it looks like every single zombie is within threatening range of actually hurting you. Yeah. So you need to knock down all three of them at least. But it's not melee yet, is it? It's about to be. No, it's shooting, shooting, shooting right shooting. now. Okay. So all I can shoot with one of my guys. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, because you you're didn't reload the other one. Okay. Yeah, so this dude right here. That's Patrick himself. Yeah, who are you choosing to shoot? Probably the zombie that's coming after you? Yeah, the closest to me. The one that's going nom, 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 nom. Gotcha. All right, and then that's dual p the. Mm -hmm. That's racco pistols. Dual pistols. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <three>. dual <laughs> pistols. <laughs> Not racco three. pistols. <laughs> one. One hit. One. Uh, let's see. All right, let me... Mm -hmm. See if I have something here. Well, I think it, that could be done at any time, right? It doesn't have yeah. to be done at the roll. That'll yeah. be interesting yeah. if it has to be done. Yeah. We'll see. Someone will look at that. So two hits. This has one block. So only one hit. Night. Oh, no. No. Oh, it was a flesh wound. It's <laughs> still wound. coming at you. You shot the pinky toe off. Damn. All right, go ahead and put the ammo token there. But the good part now, Patrick, is melee. you do get to go to the melee phase, which, okay, we're all now in the melee phase. Correct. So in this instance, I feel bad for pushing, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, Psycho Girl in front of me. So both me and Psycho Girl are going to engage, engage <laughs> the zombie. And we're going to tell, run! Those behind us. Get too. to the drop off. So because I engage, you get plus one die uh, on each of those. Correct. Let's see. The very bad babe 
is I forget which one I'm using. Yeah, so she is gets. Oh wow, she gets plus two, plus one for charging, mm -hmm. and then the um. Yeah, and I only get plus one for charging, and a normal survivor is what zero. It's a <laughs> zero. A terrible but, at combat. She's the best at uh, combat. We're assuming you have, but we have no, we have no idea how this is improvised done. weapon. We'll we'll assume you have all, all your guys have improvised weapon, so it's another one uh, dice. No, because you have to choose that. When at the beginning I have two Uzis, she had an assault rifle. So I if mean, we improvised don't weapon one, is like a, a a fist or a boot or something. You still gonna get? Are you seeing that on the melee weapons? All right, let's just stop. Uh, uh, melee weapons. Let's go to this area here to resolve a melee combat. Both con combatants, attacker and target, roll a number of combat dice, which is the sum of their melee value. Mm -hmm. Characters melee. Uh, plus one. Multiple combatants. King of the hill. All right, so the weapons melee value. Is everybody considered to have a weapon? I don't think Improvised so. weapon? I mean... Im regardless of the weapon shown on the model, characters are always equipped with at least an improvised weapon, such as a kitchen knife or broken bottle. Yeah. An improv improvised weapon has the following table. Uh, one. One, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So she has an improvised weapon. She has plus two because she's a badass babe. Mm -hmm. And another one because she is the one that charged. So Correct. she has four dice, and she does ooh, <laughs> three hits. Now, but the way this works is the target is also rolling. Yeah. So what's the zombie? Uh, Patrick, roll. Uh, zombies have two fist, and they have that's all two fist. Roll two. Yep. No. Just one. Okay. Right. So how much damage? Just one. You, He did one. You did three. He did one. I did three. The result of all the dice from one weapon must be applied to one single target. Okay. Compare the results attained by both combatants. The side that scored the highest number of hits wins. So I win. <coughs> For each hit, the winner scored in excess of the loser... So I excess of two. Yeah. Roll for damage. Okay. Killed it. Slain right there. Yeah. Cool. Boom. Boom. Easy so peasy. I didn't, I didn't even need to yeah. jump in the combat, the, but I felt bad. I'm so, sorry, girl. She's like, I saw you. She's got an like, empty glass bottle or something. Just... Okay. Uh, let's go on over to Patrick. <clears throat> All right. So. Who are you charging with who? Can I charge with everybody? Like, oh, I mean, single. Yeah. Like, everybody is going to be able to get in. So you just determine who you're gonna do. All right. Well, I'll just start from. Right okay. So Patrick. Yeah, I'll start with me. Put yourself in base-to-base -base contact. And I am the leader, so I. No, get... let's keep going, and then let's match them all up. But this is the. Yeah. The let, well, let's see how it actually does. During the melee self phase, the active player can move any of their characters that are within two into base contact <coughs> and engage them in close combat. So I guess it does happen one at a time. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> and again, the rules aren't written detailed enough to where it's like, do all of them move first, yeah. then the combat, or is it go oh, and then fine. combat? By the way it's written, it's go and combat. Okay. So... Yeah, because it's no, all well, no, it's no. not. So it's written really poorly because the next phase says multiple combat. Yeah, plus one for each miniature after the first that is attacking the same target. But no, so that can still case, apply. Hold on, it can still apply because if you run up to a zombie and you miss with your fist, then your friend can still run up and and hit as well <laughs> and then get the bonus. That's yeah. really getting you. Like you got me. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so I have I have a. Uh, Pistol, which counts as a hand weapon. Since I have right. two pistols, does it count as two hand weapons? No, just the two. Yeah, why not? A pistol Wouldn't counts as a hand weapon? Yeah, it Why does. wouldn't it? Two, two pistols count as two hand weapons. <laughs> 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 he 
gotcha. Yeah, you got me. All right, so what? Four? So a pistol is a, is a, ha, counts as a hand <laughs> weapon. Hand weapon is two. So I have two pistols. A rack of pistols. Oh, wait, you have rack of pistols? Yeah. Oh, no, that's a rack of pistols is, yeah, you're Nothing. right. Yeah. Nothing, yep. Okay, wow. So, but I still have. An improvised weapon, which is one dice. One, and then I charge. Which is one. Right. And then I have the bonus for being the uh, main character, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're the main character. So three. Got it. Okay. There's two, right? Yeah, that's two. I'll roll for it. Here we go. And the zombie got two. So it's a tie. What happens in a tie? Are you serious? Yeah. Fucking Jay. Okay. Tie. That's not me. That's a zombie. Nothing. Zero damage to you. Zero damage to it. So they're locked. Locked in El Combato. The attacking characteristics, including those who are shocked, are pushed back one inches by the side that did not engage the melee, and the melee ends. So you push back the guy one inch, because he didn't engage, you did. Okay. Hmm. Okay. A little thematic. Makes sense. All right, I'll go next but with... But you're pushing somebody out of combat range. Yeah. Next out of charging range of the next person. I'll go next with <laughs> Snoochie Booches. Thank you. 13 Snoochie. months. Snoochie's Booches. <laughs> Love it. Mm-hmm. Always a good time being here with the Angry Army. Thank you so much, man. Okay, uh, Mitten's right. Charge. Mitten's Charge with his... Uh, Mitten's Charge in the Firefighter. We're calling it a Riot Club. So yeah. That's four. Yeah. That fucking kid is back on the elevators. Escalators. Oof. Oof. So two. So Here, give me two. All right, you roll two dice, Joe. Hang on before we go. I don't understand this times thing. Oh. Are we fading? Are we facing bunch of zombies, or what are we facing? Uh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I've been using bunch of zombies times fifteen, but again, yeah, the game needed to be a little bit more put together. But I'm, I've got, I've got the game pretty much good. We can move on, but let, let's see if we can finish it off. Okay, so you, you did that, and what happened? Two. I rolled two. Two, two hits. Yeah. Uh, need to see if these zombies. So the zombies have two, right? Yeah, and they got nothing. Nice. So that two damage to him. Yeah. So roll your roll damage. Two damage. And no. you kid, no, no, you knock, knock it down. him on the ground. And when you knock it, the knocked mini does get pushed back one push back, inch. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'd say that because of all the pushing, this one is now out. But this one can come right here. Yeah. And try to hit that one. All right. And that's us. So the zombie rolls one hit. Changing whips. This is two yeah. with an entangling. Yikes. I didn't roll anything. So it doesn't matter. Uh oh. You go get chopped on. This is the first Uh-oh. time a zombie has won. Who Wait, is that? Wait, let me use a grit to re roll. Can okay. I do that? Yeah. Yeah. Use everything. We don't want these guys to win. Yeah. I nice. want to see somebody get chomped. Two though. hits. So then you now have the upper hand yeah. of one, so one over. One damage. Yeah. Ah. And I can't see because that shield. camera keeps shield. going off. So yeah. Just a flesh wound. All right. Yeah, flesh wound. Nothing. Flesh wound. So it just gets pushed back one it inch. It gets pushed back one inch. Okay, that's it. Cool. All right. All right. So mine, uh, I will go in. What are you doing? Melee. My melee. Oh, your melee. Yeah. I'll go in and stomp on this guy. So remember, 
with them being down, it's I just have to have an attack in an automatic slain, right? Finish off. Shock characters are perfect targets for an easy kill, either for shooting or in melee. A character can declare a shock miniature as the target of their attack. In melee, an attacking character's target will automatically be slain if at least one attack can be declared against it. So, so I, I still have to roll, right? No. If at least one attack can be declared against it, no rolls needed. Oh, yeah, okay. Even says no so rolls I can, needed. Yeah. So, but I, you would always be able to do one attack because yeah. everybody always has an improvised weapon. Yeah. So I'm not sure why it would refer or talk like that. But yeah. okay, so yeah, okay. you crush his head. Pop, pop. Cool. <clears throat> we got all these zombies out of the way. There's a few zombies remaining in the middle. Yeah. But it feels like we've pretty much did some good clearing and yeah. We're, we're going to make it out pretty easy, I think. Okay, so here we go. All right, at the end of turn three, Angry Joe kind of used uh, uh, Psycho Girl here as a shield and then felt bad. So uh, we both uh, ran into melee against that one remaining zombie. And this badass, uh, what is it called? A very bad babe. Uh, managed to punch and kill the zombie before I did. Like, I know what you did. I saw you. I was like, oh, sorry. Uh, so we're making our way towards the helicopter. We have to get past uh, some zombies in that spawn point there. Patrick doing some work over here. Uh, uh, Mittens managed to knock that firefighter zombie over. Uh, Patrick uh, fought that zombie to a standstill, pushed it back. So a lot of pushback. So there's still some zombies there in the middle, but I think Patrick's got it. And then uh, Jay's team over here has pretty much cleared all the zombies. So uh, this is the end of turn three. So we're going to get one zombie popping at each uh, zone. Not too much to worry about. And I think we are pretty much clear. We need to get we need to get up over there. Ooh. All right. We'll see y'all at the end of turn four. Uh, but at the end of turn four is when these are going to ramp up to Z's. And they're going to start popping two zombies apiece uh, to make that scram uh, frantic scramble to the helicopter even more so. Okay. Rolling five to see who goes first. Well, we have to do our... I got, we got to do upkeep. 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 I got five. Um, oh, upkeep. Yeah. So do your uh, do your ammo Four dice here ammo uh, three reloads. Nice. So I'm gonna do um, shit. These one reload. Oh, fuck. <coughs> These three. And then I'll do my four. Uh, looks like I got two. You one. already did yours, Patrick? Yeah, I got one. <laughs> one out of two? We'll mm -hmm. do two shotguns. All right. And then cards, combat cards. I need one. Need one. One as well, please. <coughs> oh, there. God damn it. The fuck am I supposed to do with all these shields? All right, rolling for Protect initiative. Yourself. <laughs> I got two. Who so goes first? There you go. You got two. I got four. Oh, it looks like uh, Jay's going first. And Patrick got four, <laughs> so it's a tie. Um, I need to roll off. Go ahead, roll again. One. One. Uh, let's see if I can beat that. I think Jay's got that. <laughs> I got it with four yeah. dice. All right, you go first. All right. Jay. All right, so move, movement. Let's get let's scurry on down the road. Six. Take his baggage with him. Oops, wrong way. Six. 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 You 
making sure you can still fire by only going six instead of running. Yes. Okay. And then, actually, you know what? Um, because I'm within two, or two of my members are within two, I'm going to do this, use this card, and it's called the block event. I want to see it. Basically, I play this card, and I can stop spawns from coming out, out of this one mm. until I leave it. Barry. Until two of my guys get okay. out of two inches from, from it. Barricading the door. Got it. Okay, Patrick, what are you doing? Uh, I'll put it right there to let us know that that is happening. I think I'm just running. Yeah, it uh, makes sense to me. I am also going to run. I'll go 10. Actually, stand that one up to Patrick when you should have done that cleanup phase. Uh, this shotgun guy is only going to go six, so he can put a shotgun blast into that one. And she's going to run ten. It's right here. What is this? Run, everyone, run. <coughs> Oochie boochies. Blood Angels are an awesome faction to, to build on. Okay. All right. Uh, so now that everybody has moved, Correct. we're going to the shooting phase, Jay. All right. So we'll start off with one of my shotguns, uh, three at that lone uh, zombie right there. I got one hit. Somebody block for me. Zombie did not block. All right, here we go. Kill him. Got him. Nice. Blew his head off. So let me put another. Put another. Okay, Patrick Token shooting. There. Nope, I ran. No shooting. Ran. I also cannot shoot with some. Uh, I did do a normal move with my shotgunner. SMZ lost. Is targeting that zombie. A shotty is what? Three dice at close range? Shotgun, three dice at yeah. close range burst. Uh, two hits. Somebody roll for the zombie. Go ahead. The zombie blocks. Why did the zombie roll two blocks? Oh, zombie only I was thinking one melee. Resilient. Yeah, just one. I was thinking melee. You were thinking the melee. No. No, so that's two hits. Let's see what happens. There Got is it. the kill. Shotgun blast to the body, knocks it out completely and the head. Boosh. Clears a path. Easy. All right. Now we've made this a little easier. Uh, that The shooting phase is now over. We go into the melee phase. No zombies over with Jay to get within two inches of him. His guys are barricading the door. No zombies within two inches of my guys. Uh, are there zombies within two inches? Of well, we haven't action? we haven't moved the zombies yet. We forgot to move the zombies the last turn. We forgot to move. The yeah, zombies. we went into shooting and we we didn't move the zombies. All right, let's move all zombies. So this is four. This is four. 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 Well, they would have moved this way, and then all these zombies over that here are going to turn no, around. No, because you move first. But they can't get with. They but can't I was get within range. They, yeah, they they're not able to. You are going to be the one that gets within them first. Well, I'm saying that last turn, those two back, that guys would have been further up, right? They would have gone towards the closest person, so they would probably would have congregated yeah. right around there. But the initiative is still in your favor because you're going to get to uh, go first. Yeah. So melee, uh, I have no melee. So I Patrick, you you can go. No melee in front of me. So it's all Patrick. Can I melee even though I uh, ran? Yes. Of so course. what's gonna happen is these two are going to engage with you, and this one in the back. So you've got three zombies that are fixing to get bonuses. So you can decide to either hit them first or let them hit you. Yeah, obviously I want to hit them first. Okay, so. If you go here, 
We'll start with this guy first because I think they're Chain. one at a time. All right, so chains, that's two. Entangling. Got one. The zombie got one. What does entangling do? Nothing? Unless I win? Entangling. A weapon or character with this trait reduces number of combat dice the enemy rolls by negative one. So I would have only rolled one dice and got no hit, so you won. So, so go ahead and roll, roll damage. Roll. Damn it. And it's a superficial wound, nothing. You get to push the zombie back one inch. Okay. Now, uh, the next would be this guy. Main guy. So that's you. Uh, I'm rushing, so I get three. Mm -hmm. The zombie's only going to get two. One hit. Uh, no hits. Oh. 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 Patrick is going to. Let's see. This is the first time. Do you have any cards that can help? Because do you have any sh uh, shields on your cards? Yeah. Well, that'll help later. That'll help later? Do you have any d right. hits on your cards? No. Okay, maybe the shields will help later. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Um, all right, for damage, the loser is explained on page 8. So the zombie does one damage to you. <laughs> so this roll... You're shocked. Shocked. So you go down. I don't even get to roll against it? No, because uh, the only rolls against it are cover. No, because it's melee. And you it's melee. Yeah. yeah. You only roll against it if he was shooting at you or if I was shooting at you. Wait a minute. Oh, that, yeah. In, in shooting, the defenses will be canceled last. But in this, it, all you're looking for is attacks yeah. in melee. Uh, so Patrick has been knocked to the ground. Do you have any cards that do rerolls? I guess I have grit. I could do a reroll. Yeah, do a grit reroll. Right. Do grit reroll. So in that case, I probably would have put the <coughs> grit reroll on something. Reroll any combat mm -hmm. dice from a single roll immediately. So let's mm -hmm. go backwards. To where I only got one hit and you got none. Why yeah. don't you re-roll those dice? Okay. You can re-roll all of them. Three? Yeah. Two. There you go. Okay, so now you win and you go one up on the zombie to do damage. Yeah, one die. Just one dice. God damn. Actually, I can use... Oh, uh, that's superficial, so you would push yeah. him back one. Yeah. Better than you getting knocked down. Yeah, okay, so and then this lady then charges your uh, this guy right here, um, Azzy. Wait, I can't charge. With yeah, him? he can charge. I he can charge. Oh, Azzy can charge yeah. this one, but I mean, you're, yeah, Azzy can go in. All right. With a baseball bat. That was four. Two. Nothing. Up one, two. Why is that dice? Come on, All right, two. Five. Nothing. God damn Just push it. Push uh. it back. <sighs> push back. Fuck. Um, I don't think that's all that bad. Because you can run so faster you know than what? these zombies. So that's exactly what you wanted. You push he, them back. One. So he's engaged. So the next step of that, the zombies engage and fight. So whoever's w any zombies that are within two inches, now they go in now. I think you're right. That's what it says right but here. But I don't like that. Yeah. Player so engages and zombies. fights. Zombies engage and fight. Mm -hmm. Zombies move and engage the same way as all other games. <laughs> Melee. Active player moves and fights. Next player moves and fights. Zombies move and fight. Okay, well, that makes it a little harder on us. Uh, that's not too... I don't have a two-inch. So you're saying that... Okay, well, then, uh, because Jay pointed out correctly that the zombies get an engagement phase... Only the zombies within two inches, though. Right, correct. So let's do this one, this one, and this one. So we'll, go, we'll start with this one. This Now this is getting bogged yeah. down a little bit, and I don't know why we need to do, to, to do this, Warlord. All right, so 
because they engaged, they get an extra one. But then why have that at all? Engaging modifier plus one to the miniature that initiated the combat. Whatever. Three dice versus <clears throat> this guy. The what? Two the hits. chains. The chain. Change person. Two so. hits against the chain person. Oh, if it's the chain person, then I I get negative one dice because of entanglement from uh, oh, Patrick's okay. weapon. So I only got two hits. Okay, I'm gonna, I got one shield, and I'm going to spin the card to change it to a shield. Oh, uh, it, you well, have, this is it doesn't melee. matter. It's that, melee. The shields only matter in shooting. Yeah. So right now. So you have one, one hit, you know, yeah. and so he did you one, one damage. damage. Here we go. Let's see what happens. In fact, I'm going to let you roll this. Here, unless you want me to roll it, I'll roll. It should be no, uh, somebody other out, than Patrick. Patrick no, though. I'm just tired. I'm okay. You know. That's cool. So what's that? Flesh wound. He just get bumped back, right? Uh, you rolled it for him. Yep. Yeah, flesh wound. Uh, so flesh wound, nothing happens. And then, so since he won the combat, the zombie pushes him back. Yep. Push back. All right, next one. Uh, the zombie attacks with two dice to Patrick himself. Only one hit from the zombie. No, three dice. It should be three dice. Oh, because he engaged. Yep. Two hits from the zombie on Patrick. Well, I roll two. Uh, what, I don't it's know your what guy. your character rolls. What, what's your guy? Oh, that's not Patrick. That's just the regular guy. Where's Patrick? Patrick. Oh, this, Patrick's This is suit. the guy right yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, shit. I remember. Okay. Two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two v two. Nothing. You tie. Um, back off. Patrick backs off one inch. Patrick gets pushed back one inch. And then next one, Azzy versus this one. This zombie gets nothing. Mm -hmm. Azzy gets two. Uh, I guess everybody's just two. God damn it. Fuck. Nothing. nothing. So, <laughs> Pat, um, so as he pushes the zombie back one. Oh no! It's uh, the other way around because the zombie was the attacker. Yeah. Right. Zombie pushes as he back one. Yeah. Ugh. Nah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's just too much. Too many operations. You gotta, you know, slim these things down, in my opinion. So, but we're gonna play it out because we've already been this far. So mm -hmm. that's the end. Now we do end phase, uh, reloading. I got two reloads for me. Uh, managed to do one reload, so I will reload my SMG. Let me do my reloads. So Patrick, got you've got one three. guy that can reload. Bro, roll one dice. Patrick doesn't reload on that and then, one. So my one guy, I forget, he has clips and bullets, which means he can uh, reload on a, a, a um, Please don't lightning bolt. That or they said clip. It says clips and bullets. <laughs> Motherfucking war. Is it a fucking goddamn World War II gun? Nope. Yeah, World War II gun. So there's... He did not get to reload. He did not get to reload. And then my other two shotguns, one does. One can reload. Okay. Whew, we're, we're getting through. <coughs> um. All right, so... Shocked miniatures, we don't have any of those. Zombie, zombies recover, and we're good there. We did all the rolls for the, the, for the reloads. All players draw combat cards if needed. I I'm good. I've got any combat cards. I'm annoyed by the combat cards. Yeah. And then zombies are played. Spawns. Well, I can never use shields because... Okay, so it, I know you can use shields... In shooting, yeah. but no zombies are shooting. shooting only right. players will yeah. shoot at each other. So the only times you're really using shields is the never. So yeah. well, what the fuck? My, my well, I mean, I don't like it. technically, I mean, I, I could be shooting at you. Yeah, I mean, y'all could be shooting at each other, but still. Yeah. Okay, so let me deploy a new zombies. Since these now flip over, we are in danger Z mode. 
Danger Z, two zombies. Danger Z, no zombies from there because you're holding the door shut. Danger Z, two zombies from here. Shit, we may not make it out. Um, Patrick, I recommend running. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, now it's our turn. Let's uh, go into p turn five, but let me do a little turn summary. All right. Okay, at the end of turn four, uh, all the tokens have flipped to Z. So two zombies parked there, two more here. Uh, Jay put played a card that is holding that door shut. So Jay is sitting pretty right there with really only one zombie coming at him. Uh, it's Patrick that, that's worried here. In the last one, he ran past the zombies uh, and then charged these three zombies with his guys, and it really resulted in just a bunch of shoving back and forth. So they he shoved the three zombies back. And as we understand the rules, then when the zombies go, the zombies then engage, so then they obviously went against the three that just shoved them back. And a bunch of nothing happened again with Patrick using some cards and stuff that they get shoved back one inch. So that kind of resulted in a, in a little bit of a, a wash, some weirdness. I think you should run. <laughs> run. Yeah. And okay, and over here I've got um, some zombies behind me, but we're doing good. We just need to kind of clear freaking ooh clear some five zombies there and then we can get to the helicopter so we can taste it we're so close all right let's see what happens in turn five almost there boys okay turn five turn five let's roll for initiative roll for initiative two uh. two two okay uh maybe jay can score better let me see here we go Two. <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> oh, Patrick. Come on, Patrick. It's going to be me and you, Jen, I think. Um, one. Okay, me and Jay. Two. This is annoying. It is. Oh. hate it when this can happen. Uh, zero. Oh, zero. <laughs> okay, there I go. go first. Okay. I don't know. Seeing as I kind of want to wrap up the game quicker now that I kind of know how this game goes. Yeah. There's some elements I like. Most ones I don't. I'm just going to say fuck it, and I'm going to take a turn of running. Uh, no, no. I guess I should. If I do this the right way, I'm going to shoot. So everybody's just going to move six so they can shoot. These are shooters, but I tell you what, um, let's see, I'm going to run with her. How about that? Miss Scarlet is going to, she, she just sees the helicopter and she's like, oh, peace out. So she's going to go here. Wait, how, how far can you run? You can run 10? That's what Jay told me. Oh, yeah. 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 10. All right. I was making six. Sure. Plus, plus the four. Four right. from but a you run, but you can't shoot. All right. So sure these saying. three are going to be in a shooting position, right. and she's not. Just fight them, Patrick. No. no I'm he's running. trying to fuck you over. <laughs> I'm running. Run, <laughs> ten, run me ten inches, please. Ten. And the ten. zombies can run ten also. Ten. You never know with the Z now. It's fucking ten. Did they get a speed boost? No. All right. Jay? Uh, since you guys are running, I'm running. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> sees each other. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Book it. Get them this way. Damn. And the helicopter is starting up. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> okay, okay. Brains. Now we Is move. it better than Zombie's Eye? No. Zombie's Eye is way Not quicker. Yet. You can get yeah. it all resolved a lot quicker. But it looks better. But it does. I also spent probably a thousand dollars. And whereas in Zombie's Eye, you don't have to spend that much. You spend fifty bucks. Zombies move. So that's because we have all this badass terrain and shit. Smoochies. 
Boochies. Zombies move. Okay, zombies move. Let's go four, four, four. Four, 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 four. Did you move these? Yep, I moved those. I think <coughs> she might have been. Uh, that one was like right here. So. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, here's what it looks <laughs> like. So, um, I went first. Right? Yeah, you go yeah. first. Okay, so let's uh, let's shoot the fuck our way. Let's shoot our way out. Let's do assault rifle in full auto mode <laughs> from um, Psycho Girl. It's ten dice, and that's ten dice. Oh, Give me y'all's five. One more. Ready, go. <laughs> Are you oh. kidding? <laughs> You, you got to use that. I don't, I don't have a reroll. No? Use your grit. grit. No. Use your grit. Oh, I've got four grit, so I'm going to use a grit. Yeah, and you reroll. Re all of them, right? Nice, yeah. Or is the grit even stupider where it's like you can choose? Reroll your re -roll any combat dice from a single roll immediately. There you go. So you, keep so you can choose. So I can keep. That makes grits ridiculous. The game is two. But it is, it's, there's it's only not, there's only you only have three or four of them, so it's not that big a deal. I have four of them, and that's a lot. I've balanced these types of games before. That's a lot. That that's enough for the whole scenario that nothing's mm -hmm. gonna happen to me. <laughs> there you go. I have three grit. I'm gonna use another grit. So, <laughs> <laughs> trying. All right. Well, I wasted two a dice. grit. So I have Give me those two grit. All right, so that's uh, how many here? Four. Why do you want two grit? So I can put it in the pile of grit. Why? This, this, game's not this old. card. This card pile. Four, four. So that's eight hits against each of these zombies. These zombies only have one resilience each. I'll just say that they did. Res they did resist. <laughs> I'll give you your stupid resist. So that's seven damage against each zombie. No, so and those are split up. The burst was split up. No. No? It's not. Wait, wait, not wait, wait, split wait. up. Short range reload. Burst is not split up. Oh, no, never mind. All right. Seven against each of these. So that zombie's dead. The And now the big birth of the zombie, she's dead as well. Just <laughs> Full auto, close range. <laughs> They're both, both fucking obliterated from the assault rifle. However... She ain't firing again unless she rolls two ammo clears. Um, now, am I six inches away from that one? I am. I'm going to go uh, dual SMGs. Dual SMGs. Dual Uzis, six dice. Rack o Uzis. That's not a fucking rack o Uzis. <laughs> two hits. Um, I'm going to turn one of those into a double. So I've got three hits. Three hits. Three hits. What? One resilience. Let's see Roll. if this zombie resists. It does not. Let's see what the damage is. That is superficial and not down, down twice, but it's only really one knock down. Okay. And then he fired. So that's it for my guys. Patrick, what about your guys? Well, I ran, so I really can't do anything. Correct. But I, All right. So okay. now we move on to Jay. Jay has nothing. I ran, too. Now we do uh, shooting Me phase, melee phase. Melees. Nobody's within melee. I oh, am. actually, back I here. So we'll go here first. So this is within two inches. Your mittens is going to charge first. Let's do mittens versus zombie. Okay. So, so this zombie four. back here rolls two. Nothing. I need four dice. I'm gonna give you five. Two. Two. Two damage to that zombie. Let's see what mittens can do. Mittens kills him with the lightning bolt. Ba All right, Jay. All right, so the first guy will be 
Uh, two dice. Where's the zombie? That guy? Yep. One. One. The zombie rolls one. It's let a me, tie. Well, let me use a card for... One into two. One okay, into you two, win by so one. Yep. Uh, roll damage. Rolling damage. The zombie is knocked to the ground. All right. Uh, I got another guy that can reach him, and he'll kill him because he's down. Right. A down zombie, you can stomp on his head and yep. crush it. Cool. Here. All right. So that is the end of turn five. Okay, here at the end of turn five, uh, Patrick took a bunch of uh, runs to get right behind me. I moved over here, did some shooting, uh, cleared that area, knocked that zombie down. Uh, Miss Scarlet is just making a beeline for the helicopter right now. Over here, Jay just doing work, crushing the head of a zombie that he knocked down uh, with a, another guy and making his way to the helicopter. So it's about to get, it's getting real tense right now. And we're moving on to turn six. The helicopter is already ready to go. Let's do it. Oh, zombies get a turn. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, yeah. Yes, zombies, don't forget. So we forgot about that. So basically, um, that sucks because that means that <laughs> these two zombies me. jump on mittens. No, mittens. Mittens might, mittens might be the first one out and taken out. Mitt how could you do that? I'm no. so mad at you, Patrick. <laughs> Rather, well, as got, you be taken out. Oh, man, so it'll that. be four <laughs> dice for the zombies because you just add the one because of, of the extra person. You add one dice for the extra person. Well, we have to resolve them one at a time. So that first one is only going to be three. Right. Well, that's well, three a four dice. dice, three dice. So three dice. Ugh. The it's zombie two. gets two hits. Damn. Mittens has the four dice rolling. Good, good. He good. needs at least two. Yeah, he has a good. No! no. Just one. one. He only gets one, but I have one more grit, so I'm going to spend it. All right. Okay. Keep the one result and roll the rest of those shields. And let's see if we can get any more hits. Yes. There you How go. many more hits? So now you're up two. <laughs> Don't rush it. Four. Up three, so three damage to the zombie. Man has crushed this fucking zombie. Oh no. nothing. Okay, but I'm gonna what? play I'm gonna play surge right here. And after rolling any combat dice, change the result to a any one dice to a surge, which kills that zombie. Nice. Good now, job. This zombie charges, and instead of doing four dice, it's only three dice. So here we go. The zombie ugh, sorry. <laughs> Two hits to Dude. mittens. Mittens again? Fuck. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Because mittens doesn't have any. Come uh, on, mittens. Jump, 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 Come jump, on. jump. Yeah. Mittens two. It is a tie. Meaning since the zombie won, he pushes you back one, one which, which is, is what you want anyway. You're yeah. like, all right, peace out. Yeah. All right. Damn, I got to pee again. I'm good, right? I went. And all my guys? Yeah. All the zombies went? went? Yep. Okay. In the melee phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Went. So then the end phase where we roll for ammunition. I've yep. got three to roll for. I've got two to roll for. I'll roll your ammunition, Patrick. One. So I will uh, pull me. Here's Patrick's ammunition. He still cannot fucking. All right. So that. my me, I get. I can reload with that because of his special. And then the uh, last shotgun gets a. Reload. Nice. Been doing pretty good with these reloads. All right. Two more zombies everywhere. There's yep. two zombies here. Two zombies two, there. Two here since I left that area. Two zombies there. And then two over there by the... Two yep. zombies there. Okay. This has gotten out of control. There are tons of zombies zombie on the board. Stands back up. Okay, it's time to go, go, go. 
So that was the end of turn f five. Right? Yes. Moving to turn six. I feel like we didn't move. We did. We did. We ran. And we shot. Well, I. No, we didn't. We didn't move. Yeah, we did. I didn't move. Well, yeah, we went did. back. We. So we're at moving now for the new turn. I said that she's coming around the corner. Correct. And that was last time. Yeah, that was the last turn. Last yeah. turn. Now we're to the new turn and we're moving. But again. I recorded her already saying, she just said, peace out. She's going to come over here. Then I stopped the recording. And I record at the end of every turn. Right, right, right. So she should not be here. She should be. My guys should have moved or something. I don't know what happened. Mm. We we went back to play the zombie rush. And then now we're at the end of the turn. Yeah. We we were at the oh, end of the turn. Oh, yeah, we yeah, forgot. Yeah. Yeah. So I recorded so we, a little we too went early. Back. Yeah. yeah, and then we went back. Yeah. Okay. So, so now, thank you. So now we are at the end. I already recorded. I don't need to record again. And this thing has already piece of shit has broken yeah. so i need to buy an actual Speaking one of piece of shit my fucking pants tore this morning at work and then the fucking button just popped off just now look <laughs> <laughs> yeah. these pants are done all for right well, it's initiative time turn six initiative let's go i've got three two one <laughs> i win yes okay. you do well that's gonna be good Let's do 10 inches. She makes it into the building, Miss Scarlet. No, that is, yeah, that's Miss Scarlet. She says, screw it. There's no more waiting. I'm leaving. She makes it into the building. And then 10 inches around. I mean, whether we determine the building is the stairs or the actual building. I'll just... Br I'm going to move everybody 10, and they're going to have to stay one more outside before they make it in. We're running everybody 10. Miss Scarlet made it. Yay. Miss Scarlet uh, made it to the helicopter mm. first, uh, and now we've got to see who else is going to get there. Jay's doing a massive the run same thing. at the yeah. top. I'm going to do the same thing, too. And if Patrick is saying, fuck all these zombies. I'm just going to run. And hopefully and it'll work out there. in the melee phase. And there's there. And there's there. I don't know where these tokens that are. That was yours from there. That one's cleared off from uh, uh, Miss Scarlet. But that those those were yours. Right. Uh, she did the full auto, so she yep. didn't have. And then I think I had one, but I needed to roll to clear. Because I would have cleared mine. We just I didn't. think mine was cleared. Now the zombies move. Correcto. Oh, it's a pain in the ass moving these many zombies, I'll tell you that much. So that's the problem with zombie miniatures games is when zombies start to... To hoard? To hoard their... So he'll just... He'll stay right there. I don't know who's closer, this one or this one. Oh, this one is going to go to that one. This one is going to go to uh, this one and this one. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so that's the end of the movement phase. Now they're shooting. 
Uh, my man's got a shotgun. So he's going to try to get these two zombies in one go. Three dice. He got two hits. Yeah. Make it three one, hits. One. This. No, no resilience. So three hits against each zombie. Uh, one zombie is knocked down. The other zombie is knocked down. God damn it. That's fine. But that's good for the fucking melee phase that's mm -hmm. about to show up. She uh, is not reloaded, and I cannot remember if I'm reloaded or not, so we'll just say I am not reloaded. So that's my shooting. Patrick. Patrick's shooting. Um, you got that one in front of you? Yeah. There was one that uh, you didn't clear. Uh, yeah. It was this guy who wasn't clear. Okay. Whoever has the gun did ha still has not been able to clear. Patrick can still but Patrick shoot. Patrick can yeah. shoot. Six inches at that guy? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I have two p the dual pistols, so that's three. Three short range. One. The zombie blocks it. Damn. Unless you have any cards. No. Okay. All right. Do, uh, do you have a token? Put Jay. Oh, I'm good. I can't shoot anything. No shooting from Jay. So now we move on into the melee phase. So, Miss, uh, let's see. This is Psycho Girl, who's the badass babe, is going to attack first because she's got bonuses. So she's got, I think it's four dice for her. She only got one. Yeah, she only got one. J roll for that zombie. Two sure. dice. Two dice. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Two. Oh. <laughs> nom 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 That's nom, it. nom 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 nom. Okay. So one. One roll to see what happens to Scarlet, the badass babe. Nom 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 oh, nom nom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hang see? on. Goes There's nothing. Down. Can I do anything? You have Let's see no. if I have a car. A you can't do anything. You grit. Can I do anything? She's down. She's done. Finito. You can use your grit to re-roll, right? I do. I have two grits left. So that's what I'm saying. Grits are so powerful. So we're going to go uh, a grit here. And when I only rolled one hit, right. we're going to roll the other three dice for three hits to uh. your two hits. Well, do you want to read? Oh, we'll just say three to your two. Yeah. We, she wins by one, and she knocks the zombie over. Grit, man. Grit. That's what I'm saying. If you have fucking grit, let this, these kinds of mechanics are from, you know, dungeon crawlers and board games, and I know they're just so powerful. I have one grit left. I have none. Okay, um, yeah. any other zombie within two? Yeah, this zombie attacks. Me? Who is this? Newsies or whatever his yep. name is. That's a, I made him R. Jimmy. R. Jimmy. Yeah. Okay, uh, this zombie's attacking R. Jimmy. Okay. Grand Old Duke, thank you for supporting our show, my friend, for 43 whole months. Wow. All right, so he rolls Appreciate you. Having some fun on Neither. Saturday with. Nope, nope. Some, okay, the zombie. Uh, gets what two? Nice. Nothing. So it just pushes you one. Close. This zombie is close enough to Azzy and uh, hits you in the back. That's that. one damage from the zombie on Azzy. Which one's Azzy? The basketball bat? Yeah, baseball, baseball bat. bat. Two handed weapon, four. Four. Two. So you go up by one on her, on him, see what happens. And knock you down. knock down that zombie. He knock, as he swings around with the baseball bat, knocks that zombie to the ground. And that is it. Yeah. Uh, now so they, the zombies come? Or is there yeah. any zombies that yeah, can? Yeah, zombies do spawn more, but I'm not going to bother uh, spawning the zombies. They're so far away that they're not. I will spawn those two zombies that's right in front of us. You know what I'm saying? That... Did that zombie already? Yeah, that zombie already attacked me. That's right. so these two spawn right there from that one. And then, um, so turn seven. So we kind of screwed up because the map should be a little smaller. <laughs> we were making our own custom scenario. 
That's how that is. Yeah. Now let's go ahead for initiative in this last turn. Three. One. So y'all tie. You go. For, you go let, first. Oh, hold on. Let me. Uh, let me get a video of this. Three. Okay. At the end of turn six, I have decided to hole up here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Miss Scarlet has made it to the helicopter. She is begging uh, the team here, uh, Dutch and, and everybody, to hold the helicopter while uh, the rest of her uh, survivors can get past. So we all kind of formed a defensive wall here, had a wave of zombies uh, hit us, and we managed to shove them back. Uh, there are the cops. They are running as fast as they can to try to get to the helicopter. Uh, Patrick is right behind us, baseball yeah. bat. As he swung a baseball <laughs> bat around, hit that zombie. Patrick did some shooting, and uh, Newsy's over here. Uh, lo uh, tied that combat and got shoved back. So everybody is in a critical way now. And is this where we start turning against each other? Potentially. Mm -hmm. Let's start reloading our guns. So I've got two people uh, f that can reload. Patrick has two people. Uh, all of your guys are fully reloaded. Yeah, the I got one reload. Two. So I'm going to reload my gun. None. You got one. Ah, uh, the shield's one. Shield. Right. Yeah. Which one do you want to reload, this guy or you? Uh, let's do the guy closest to everybody. So the this yeah, guy yeah, reloads. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what happens here in the last turn. Probably we'll probably go to turn eight to see if you make it, but it, it's it's gonna go down right here. Trust me. All right. Well, y'all were rolling to see who yeah, goes yeah. first, so right? How much you have? Three, right? Three, yeah. I got you. I go first. <laughs> All right. So Jay wins that. However, I play a card where I say I automatically win. Cool. So I go first. Faster Oops. next time. Play during the initiative. Your team counts as having rolled the most. Let's set these back up. And uh, in this case, I am going to... Just for funsies. Well, she wasn't able to reload. So, Miss Scarlet, I say, Miss Scarlet, get in. So she gets in. The women have been saved. They're they're going in, and I am. Well, there's movement first. If yep. I don't leave now, then I don't get to shoot at anybody. <laughs> yep, that's true. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna go. I'm gonna get in the helicopter and SMZ Laos. Let's do just uh, just a little fun thing. SMZ Laos is gonna stay behind and then he's gonna shoot. But he's shooting at newsies and the zombie. Because <laughs> we had to get we had to get some you know, human on human action in one of these games. So firing, that's three dice, two hits. What does he have the chain? Yeah. yeah. yeah this is where you use all your uh, this is where you can cards. Use the things, yeah. Two hits. No, no. This isn't made. You want you want you want shields this time. So you. So what's the resilience you, score? Yeah. What's your resilience? Whatever. Two. Of newsies. <laughs> Two? Two, yeah. Yeah, then. Is it just a normal survivor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. then he rolls two dice, and <coughs> you rolled two dice. How many results did you get? I got two. But two no shields, right? No shields, but, but you yeah. could put the two shields there. Yep. So that is blocked. And the zombie blocks one of them, but takes one hit for a superficial damage, so the zombie's fine as well. Yeah. So it's ineffective. SMZ Laos is probably regretting. His decision to take one last parting shot. Yeah, we did, but you shot, but we supposed to move. Everybody's supposed to move first. Oh, yeah. There's not supposed to be a shot there yet. Right. So there's moving. So here comes Jay moving. I'm move this way to stay far as I can from. 
Jay doesn't want to get shot by everybody. Yeah. So make sure that I'm farther away than you guys, so they'll go after you and not me. Bring whoever you can in for me. Okay, well, if you're going to do runs, then you just fucking make it. So yeah. there's no point in the SMZ thing. So this one makes it in. Yeah. And then Dan pretty much make it. I don't know about it. Uh, Patrick definitely makes it. The we'll kitty as he makes it. <laughs> Mittens. Mittens is not going to make it. Mittens. It's going to probably be about here. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it, this guy, SMZ would have gone inside if he's not going to have an opportunity to shoot before everybody moves. All right, everybody move now. Yeah. The zombies would move. So Mittens is the last one. And then everybody would get f four inches from mittens, which would put that zombie within two, uh -oh. but only just. So, let's so mittens. mittens only has to contend with one zombie before he leaves. And he's got his. And so he is going to uh, charge the zombie. Use his club. Or Come on, Mittens. Mittens! Nice. Three. Three. Zombie does two. So Shit. you win by one. Shit. And that's superficial damage. So the zombie Push gets back. shoved back. And now Mittens is free. And there's is nothing that, that can be done there. So then uh, basically... The next turn would be more zombies would spawn, but there's no point everybody, yeah. because everybody would then make enough. it to the helicopter right yeah. now. Uh, so Mittens <laughs> makes it up, but then uh, when Jay gets up, there's another four here, and I think there's too many people <laughs> to, <laughs> to really fit on this helicopter. <laughs> Somebody has to make some kind of decision. And so this minigun then probably goes off and as Jay comes up the building. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to kill all Jay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. I don't even think all these people, it wouldn't even be enough for all these people. I, we could fit a few of them on there. But anyways, so here it goes. And we were rescued. Cool. So that, that was it. That was Project Z. That was... Yeah, so that was it. That was Project Z. Um, okay, there's things about it that I like. I like that it's a zombie one, and I like that the zombies keep yeah. spawning. But there are so many other zombie games that that's just a fundamental uh, thing. Um, so I would probably streamline several things, and uh, so it's it's yeah. average. It's not yeah. my fave. It's it's I'll probably give it average five average. out of ten. Yeah. you know, you know meh, meh, yeah. meh. I mean, there's, you know, other scenarios that you can do. I think that the, the combat cards are kind of unnecessary. Yeah, they yeah. just kind of get in the way. It's just, you just end up with shields. You're just doing more modifiers <laughs> on top when you could just take the first modifiers, the first results. Yeah. Um, it slows down the game. As well as the whole, you know, the... The the melee phase seems the, yeah, weird. Yeah, the me melee phase is little... The rules are poorly written. That's what's going on here. Because it's like, do everybody move into their positions in close combat and then it's all resolved? Or does one at a time resolve that one? Then another one resolve that one. Then another yeah, one and that was a little, that one. Yeah, diluted. That's a little diluted. But as written, it, whether, either whichever way it is, then once you have all the results of the zombies being pushed back or you being pushed back or falling down, then the zombies get to go and do theirs. Yeah. I just like one melee. We're getting into one melee. Here's the melee phase, and it gets all Yeah, it seems like it was two, two, two different melees. Yeah. Unnecessary too many steps, processes uh, that, that slow the game down. So um, if they sunset the game and go with the second edition, I would definitely look at speeding it up and you know slimming it down. 
Well, but plus, I'm glad I got it played. I think that this, this is was one that I would not play again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that there there's was other systems. I oh, play yeah, Zombie Side. Yeah. yeah. Um, board I think, game. I think the, this was m meant for more like two players than, than this, three players oh, too. That's a good point. This one thing that this game does well is the fact that you can go multiplayer. Yeah, and, I, does, and I think it, it does well it with did, multiplayer. Yeah, it did, and it did, didn't break it for having three mm -hmm. three players. It is an easy it's very modification simple. to the rules. You know? Yeah, because yeah. we were uh, able to make our own little like scenario pretty easily. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. All right, we are going to take a break, and me and Jay, I don't know if Patrick <laughs> Frederick seems tired. If he wants to go home and get some rest, that's fine. Yeah. But me yeah. and Jay are definitely going to do at least one more. And yeah, we'll see do one more. Gonna what's go going? We're going to do uh, Walking Dead All Out War and see how that system is because I've got oh, that. Man. But we've got everything set up, so um, I'm going to take a, a short break. We'll be right back. Yeah. All right, guys, see you in a bit.